Hi everyone. Very good morning and good evening to all. Thanks for joining. Welcome to career guidance session. In this webinar, we are going to discuss the following points. So what is Informatica Power Center? What is IACS? What is the opportunities for these two technologies? And can I learn Informatica Power Center? What is the scope for Informatica Power Center? And what is the scope for IACS? What is the scope for IDMC? And what is IACS? What is IDMC? That we are going to cover. And discussion on the career gap. So most of them are asking this particular questions. So that we are going to discuss completely on discussion on the career gap. So how to get the suitable experiences and how to get into the companies. So that we are going to discuss. And how to switch my job into Informatica ETL developer. So that we are going to cover. And what is the scope and job opportunities? And so most of them asked, so what is the scope for Informatica Power Center or IACS in abroad, like USA, Canada, Australia, or Singapore, or any other Gulf countries? So what is the opportunities that we are going to discuss? And what is the prerequisite for IACS? What are the things I have to learn? What are the certification I have to do? Is there any certifications? So all this we are going to discuss. And finally, we will have all your questions and answers. I will take all your questions and I will answer all your, all your questions. Thanks once again. Let us start our today's webinar. Before going to start, let me introduce myself. So myself, Chandra. So having 14 plus years of experience in IT, I am taking these trainings last eight and a half years. Uh, you can, uh, you would have seen my profile on Urban Pro as well as I have taken a lot of sessions in IntelliPad. So you do have seen my IntelliPad PLSQL sessions and Informatica sessions. Okay, so let us start our career guidance session. You'll be seeing a lot of uh, news about the recessions and all this, right? So what about the opportunities for this IACS? So which technology we have to learn? So based on your years of experience, so which technology I can learn? Okay, so you might be from different, different technologies from SQL and other production support, all these technologies, right? So how can I go into this IACS or any other technologies and how can I switch my job? The first question is, so a lot of members are asking, okay, so I'm into one, one particular, one particular technology. I'm working for a company last one year. I want to switch my career into this IACS or Informatica Power Center or any other technologies, right? So is it possible to switch if it is one year or uh, one year experiences? Yes. So first of all, I will tell you what is this IACS or IDMC. Okay. So now the Informatica Corporation, you know, right? Informatica is like most of the data related projects. They are handling it. They do have a lot of tools. It's everything like a tools based only. And IACS is one of the tool called Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Okay. Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. So this is the tool. So previously we were having this tool in Informatica Power Center. So Informatica Power Center, yes, this tool we are we were using uh, most of the time. And for a lot of uh, banking and all these projects, we were using Informatica Power Center only. So if you take I, our IT companies, right? So most of the banking, insurance, retail, healthcare, and these companies, okay, telecom, all these companies, they were those who are handling huge volume of data. They are using this Informatica Power Center to transfer the data from one server to another server for the reporting purpose, right? You know already. See, here we have all the source systems. Since it is a banking, they may get the data for different source system, right? Different sources inside inside the bank itself, they do have a lot of uh, departments. So from, from this particular source system, they can get the data. So since they are like a banking, they can are banking or retail. So they will go for, at the end of the day, they will go for reconciliation, right? Yes, they'll go for reconciliation. That means at the end of the day, they will settle the amount, they will generate some reports. So for that, and they need to track their business, how the business is going on. I have already posted a lot of videos you have seen. 
and this is our data warehouse we will move the data from here to here so that particular tool we are bringing here right that's a use of our informatica power center and the iacs after some times right recently the companies are moved from this previously we were using netisa we were using teradata oracle mysql server all this right ms sql server all this databases only we were using for this data warehouse but nowadays companies moved towards on the cloud so why because they want to store huge volume of data and they want to apply lot of a and ml process okay so if you take lot of companies they are they have started a and ml like artificial intelligence and machine learning process on the data so they want to handle it and they want to process the data and again they want to feed back the data to source systems like a recommendation user experiences they want to give some reviews so all this they want to apply so for that we need to have a huge volume of data right so we need to handle it and we need to handle like a structured data semi structured data unstructured data all the data like batch processing live data processing so everything they need to handle it so that's why they moved on the cloud it's a cloud so the we have lot of cloud providers so still some of the companies are using rdbms okay relational database management system for their data warehousing application but the those who are moved on the cloud right like aws gcp or they moved on snowflake or they have moved on azure so any cloud system if they have moved on then they want to have the connections here so informatica power center if you take 10.2 or 10.4 right so 10.2 or 10.4 and 10.5 so these versions these versions we do have connectivity to connect s3 and snowflake all this right you have, you would have seen connection with informatica power center itself you can go and check here and we will be having a connections to connect with s3 bucket aws s3 and we do have connections for snowflake power exchange connectors all this plugin we have but but it is not full fledged with all the connectors okay so that's why the informatica they thought that okay so the, all the companies are moving towards on the cloud so if we are not moving on the cloud then we will not be there in the market so they thought when they have started even 5 years before 5 to 6 years before they have started migrating their own product their own product informatica power center to iacs so informatica intelligent cloud services so they have they have started this cloud based web based tool and this tool whatever we are doing in informatica power center all the transformation they brought it here and whatever we are doing the same process yes the tool also will do the same process okay so that's what they have started informatica power center then they have they have come up with this tool and last one and a half years to two to two years they have done lot of changes on iacs tool and they they still improving so if you ask the connections now so here how many connectors it can able to connect so even it is connecting around 100 plus connectors they have they have implemented okay 100 plus connections so different okay so different connectors you can see in iacs open it and then if you see lot of connectors they are bringing it here every uh, new versions the latest version is 64th version okay 64 point some versions see all this they will use and if you ask what is the difference between uh, informatica power center and iacs so what is what is the major difference if you ask informatica power center say for an example as a as a company i do have company you assume that and as a company i want to load the data from one server to another server for reporting purpose right so i need to take the report from here so all the analytics data analytics i will do here the tableau power bi all this i will do here so for that i have to move so whatever the informatica power center i'm going to have so that license i will pay for the company okay so i will pay the license to my informatica corporation they will uh, 
install informatica power center server and client machine so how many users i'm asking for that they will give us licenses with that license as a company i can use that tool for the process right so this will be handled by our company only if you are facing any issues if you are not able to solve then you have to reach out to informatica corporation you have to raise one vendor ticket then they will come and then they will solve it so that's what we will normally we will use to do it and we can go for any version migration they will help us on the version migration but but now we have migrated from informatica power center to iacs right iacs see this iacs we are not going to handle it so all the server maintenance and the users and the capacity and everything the the caching everything will be maintained by informatica corporation itself so only thing is we will install secured agent in our organization the secured agent will establish the firewall connections between our own on premises server to the outer world okay to the to the end point the outer end point it will create say for an example iacs on the cloud right so iacs on the cloud it will handle etl process on the cloud okay and it will store all the metadata information metadata in the sense okay so which data i have to move from here which data i have to move from here that information it will be handled by iacs but you assume that i am moving the data from here i have oracle database okay here i have oracle database i want to move the data from oracle to aws okay so who is maintaining this aws amazon is maintaining this aws right and oracle okay so our company will maintain this database on premises server you assume that flat file you are getting a flat file data from other com companies other banking system you are getting it and it's as a flat file okay you might be getting a data in csv file json file xml file avro files parquet files different file format you can get it and this iacs can process it and it will store the data into any cloud system like aws gcp you would have seen nowadays gcp is booming up right so gcp aws snowflake so all this you can load but these systems these cloud providers right maintain these cloud databases whatever the amount of services we are going to use it we have to pay for that as a company right i want to use redshift in aws yes i have to pay how much redshift services i'm using i have to pay s3 i'm using yes i have to pay for that s3 so in similar way we have to the companies will pay for that informatica also they have come up with different services if you take aws we have lot of services right so we have in if you take aws lot of services are there in gcp yes we have lot of services are there like a bigquery and then storage kubernetes lot of services are there the same way iacs also previously they do have different tools right informatica power center then we do have separate tool called mdm master data management and we do have idq so informatica data quality uh, informatica data catalog right so enterprise data catalog so different tools we do have now they have we have come up with solution okay so combine all this tool into single single tool called iacs okay as a service they are pro providing it's a service it's not a separate tool if if you go to the web based tool if you open the tool here and so this is very simply like a web based tool only you can install by yourself and you can have so if you open this particular tool and you can see so let me open it then i will show you so as a services they have taken all the tools into single single web based tool if you see this services lot of services are available so i have taken this trial version i have taken for data integration service and application integration service okay apis all the api calls you can connect so what is data integration yes we can take the data from database and you can connect with your connect to your cloud systems to store for the business analytics so what is api 
so you can directly connect with your front end tool so you can connect with okay if you take irctc so irctc you are booking the tickets right so from here you can take directly through api calls and application interface right application programming interface you can get connected and you can go to the directly you can go to the aws or any cloud system you can store so that information is also we are providing if you go to all services you can see so this is the data quality and governance right data quality and governance they have bring up with services here data governance services data profiling data quality they have come up with one tool right and then data integration cloud so mostly most of the companies are using integration cloud only as a services okay you can see all these are services only so whatever the service we want like a data integration masking uh, power center to cloud conversions now most of the companies nowadays they are going for migrations right so they have already worked the power center component is working on and they want to migrate from power center to cloud so they will use these services okay different services here we have mass injections in addition to this services we do have at different utilities okay to convert power center xml file to cloud and zip file okay so we do have a lot of things in application integration and you can see master data management see now informatica corporation they thought that okay we are, so we can go with another tool they are going to rename it so this tool with idmc so what is idmc idmc is nothing but intelligent data management cloud okay so this is the one they are moving now okay intelligent data management cloud it will have all the tools okay it will have all the tools on the cloud so they are going to make it all the tools in the cloud if you see this they are going to make it like uh, open source but they need to pay for it okay the companies need to pay for that and you can see apis and all the microservices same like our gcp or aws we do have lot of services right so they are going to bring it like microservices and serverless process see the elastic and serverless process they are going to bring it so serverless means so how much services you are uh, utilizing so that services only it will be active uh, if you are not using so that will not be active and you need no need to pay for that okay and so different lot of features they are going to bring it you can see here all this they are going to bring it in one place like a data catalog data integration api data quality mdm governance so everything all the data consumers right see whoever is using data consu consumers they will go to this particular tool okay so this particular tool they will go to and if you see this connectors it can able to connect with lot of different different source systems if you want to go for all connectors you can see lot of connectors are available so that's why by using idmc by using iacs you can connect with these sources directly you can connect with these sources and you can pull the data see here salesforce facebook so can you can you connect with uh, to facebook in power center no we cannot do right ftp like file transfer protocol directly you can connect so google apis google bigquery google cloud green plan so lot of tools are available okay these connectors it can able to connect hadoop okay hp java all the uh, jdbc connection odbc connections okay see here how many connectors it can able to connect directly directly it can connect with jira and it will pull the data lotus nodes okay azure you can connect linkedin it will connect it's, as i told it can connect with 100 plus connectors you can see all these connectors here one by one it is a we have odbc connections oracle all the oracle connections the rest it will connect with all the apis and uh, rest web services and salesforce sap service now right see these many connectors even you can go a lot of services are there connectors it can able to connect so these are all connectivity for iacs okay iacs as well as idmc so that's what they have uh, they have taken the tool and yeah they are going to rename our iacs into idmc okay soon a uh, lot of uh, calls are going on 
so they will make okay but if you see this yes how much they are using lot of uh, see 60% growth in the monthly revenue why because they want to move from this tool to intelligent data management cloud they want to move so that's why they do have lot of uh, companies they wants or they wants different different tools into this idmc a single tool okay so, so that's what they are moving and you can see how much they are uh, they, they are taking and how much they are uh, making the investment all this right so if you have some time just to go through this video like idmc and you can see uh, so where this particular in 2022 where is the data integration tool so all the data integration tool it's informatica is on the top okay you can see here most of this is like a real time uh, data you can see here in the chart in the gartner chart you can see so they are the leaders you see this etl informatica power center or informatica corporation is the, the leading one you can see here right and the, these are all the challengers the competitors and you can see here and after bringing to IA, IA, iacs or idmc they might be going up here also most of the companies they will migrate from this on premises server to cloud server so if you have some time just to go through this uh, document and not, not only from informatica you can go through other website also okay so how it will be available and so what is this tool will do okay informatica is moving towards on the cloud right so you can just to go through this one and it's a, like it's a comprehensive one single tool cloud based and uh, data management all the data they are going to bring it here okay so just to go through that this is the why i'm giving this information most of them are asking me uh, if i'm going to learn iacs or if i'm going to learn informatica power center uh, whether i can survive for next one or two years not one or two years okay so if you start your career data related projects not only informatica power center i'm saying any data related projects okay so like sql plsql or or here cloud also as a data engineer or data analyst role data engineer role different roles if you are performing all are about data related roles so no need to worry so anyhow we are going to work on this all the data related projects only right so even the data tool only it's going to vary and if you take informatica power center whatever we have used in informatica power center we have informatica power center we have used only for data integration right but iacs we are going to use data integration cloud application integration and data quality mdm all this right single tool so that's what see whichever the services the company is going to use it so that services you can start working on it with your company so we do have lot of scope for this iacs and idmc also so as a as a company you think that how informatica will they will survive in the market right so that's why they have taken from uh, this informatica power center to iacs and that's why see you might be like you might be uh, two years three years four years and all this don't worry about you are asking okay how the calls will be you are looking at only short time okay so don't look at the short time okay whatever you are looking at so we are we are thinking entire our career on informatica power center or iacs what about the calls see calls if you are getting it's a different scenario right it is not only one single scenario you will be getting a call so now the recession is going on so that's one thing okay you may be getting less calls yes but it is not for informatica power center project right see if if i get the project for this year so definitely i need people for this particular year right so if the companies are expanding okay they are the teams are expanding yes now some teams are expanding some teams yes the client will say this year uh, i do not have budget to expand we can cut this right so that time they will release from the project but if you are in service based company or uh the companies they are, if you are in service based company they will not release you they will allocate you some other project right so that's what and the calls how the calls for for informatica power center are iacs okay see nowadays most of the most of the students are asked are coming back to me and are asking like 
or I'm getting call, but I'm getting, they're asking, okay, if you know basic of IACS, that would be better. They're asking some basic questions on IACS. Yes, it's if you if you know already Informatica Power Center, learning IACS is very, very easy. So only thing is how to connect with these, these different connectors. So that we have to learn and it is very, very easy to learn. Okay, that is one thing. The call is different, depends on multiple factors. So what is your company? So your previous company, okay? So your previous company, yes, definitely they will, some companies say, for an example, one company service-based company, if you are taking uh, the model, they work for, it's similar to other service-based company, right? So if you take Infosys, okay, Wipro, HCL, TCS, CTS, Accenture, all these companies will work like a similar, similar patient, right? They will have the, 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 the workforce and then they will train it. They will deploy into project. If they are not getting into project, they will release them from the project. Then they will allocate in some other project. So if the companies are searching, they will search the candidate from these companies. That's one, one of the scenario. Your previous companies also, like, yes, it's a, it will definitely, it will impact your previous companies. Some companies, they will go for, okay, these companies, people I need. And your previous experiences. So how many experiences you are making? Okay. Experiences, they will put. So experiences and your notice period. So all this, right? The first one is your notice period. So if you are making your notice, like, so this is one thing. Okay, so remember, your notice period is very, very important. If your notice period is immediate or within 15 days, you will be getting calls. So definitely you'll be getting most of the calls. You can, if you want, you can, if you want to test it, so you can make your profile as 15 days notice period or, uh, or immediate joiner. Definitely you'll be getting a calls. But thing is, you should be in the position to join it. So they will ask, Okay, so do you have, uh, have you resigned your particular job? Or uh, so how many years of experience you have? Are you in notice period? Can you share that your um, your resignation letter? All, all this they will ask. Why? Because they are not joining back to the companies. So why they are looking for notice period is very less days, right? So even if we are getting some projects, we will have that, uh, that talent acquisition team and HR team. So we will inform the HR teams that, Okay, we need immediate people. Otherwise, the other competitors will fill that position, right? Competitor will pull, fill the position. And uh, this, our client also will ask uh, competitors if they have the, some, some profiles, right? So we should not give the give that particular space. So that's why they will ask immediate joiner. Then tag team will search for, okay, those who are in immediate joiners. Even we are taking like three months, two, two months candidates for our projects, right? After two months, like only 40 percentage, 30 percentage only the candidates are joining. Remaining 70 percentage of the candidates are not joining back to the projects. Most of them, this is real factor. We are seeing it. And you you might be like a senior folks here also join, right? You might be thinking the same, right? See, if we are giving like 30, uh, three months notice period and we are taking the people for, okay, you can join after three months, then most of them are not joining. They're getting some other offer. They're going to the particular company. Last minute, they are not joining. Then it is getting escalation from our client. The client is moving on to different vendor also. So they will get uh, resources from different vendor. So that's why most of the talent acquisition team, they will look for very short time candidates. So if you are making your notice period is very less and you are in very less notice period and your previous company or previous experience, and the skill set. So what is the skill set you are going to make, right? So skill set you are going to make like a lot of cloud, SQL, and all this, definitely this will also impact. They will put all the skill set in the uh, tags, and then they will be searching it. And how much time you are actively, you are uh, changing your profile and updating your profile, all this matters, right? So certification you have completed. So what is the skill set tags and your experiences? Are working on agile methodology, all this, we will get it. And this notice period and everything you'll be seeing in the uh, job portal itself, right? In the job portal, if you take now, query, yes, in the job portal, when you are defining the projects, there you have to mention how much 
project time period. If you are working like a notice period, you are serving notice period. Yes. If you change it, definitely you will be getting. Okay, you can go and check. If you if you don't believe, go and check it today. Change it and see the calls. How much calls you are getting? So that is one factor. Notice period. And your previous company, service based company or product based company, and what is that? Okay. What is the company you are making? Nowadays, we are getting a lot of fake candidates, right? So even if you take our project, I'm saying one example, not one example, we have seen a lot of examples. We will get the we will get the candidate from the uh, HR. Okay, we will reply them. We will get the laptop and we will start the KT and we will give them all this. After, after one or two months, HR will say immediately, okay, this candidate's background verification is negative. We are immediately terminating him. Uh, you take all your laptops and access uh, revoke and from tomorrow we are going to terminate them. So immediately he will say HR will come to us in one single day. And then uh, we don't have any options. See, this happens a lot of people, right? So that's why we, we do not want to get into the situation. We will thoroughly verify. Okay. So our, our manager also, our senior manager, delivery manager will always tell that, okay, you go for you yourself do some background checks by yourself. So which company he has worked, which uh, project he has worked, all this thoroughly, you verify it. So we will not get into trouble after two months, after one month. So why? Because at this service-based company, they will give the background verification to third-party vendors. Like we have a lot of third-party vendors we have, right? So they will verify it. They will take some time to verify your companies, all this. And then uh, they will give the res result after one or two months. And after that, HR that they will again, if the one company is giving negative feedback, then they will give one more company to verify it. If they are also giving negative, then definitely they will remove you from the projects. And they will not test your your, your skill set. Okay, only the company and your your PF statements and your bank statement, all this only they will check. Whatever the previous technologies you worked on, that is not an issue. You can work. So even if you are getting the projects for one particular IACS, you assume that we are getting the project for IACS. We will not get all the candidates for IACS. So we will get some internal candidates also. We will train them like one or two days. We will give some KTs and we will train them. And we will make them as IACS candidate. We will ask them to attend client interviews. Okay, why? Because they all very well working on Informatica Power Center, we know. And SQLs, they are very good. And the Unix, they are very good. We will test it. And only thing is they do not have experience on IACS or IDMC, right? So we will, okay, we will manage it. No issues. We'll go for them for the client interviews and we will take it. The same way, so even if you are from different technologies, if you know all the concept very clearly, then there is no issues. Okay, uh, that. Background issue is not an issue. Your technology is not an issue. Your role is not an issue. Okay. The thing is your company, your payroll. Okay. Your PF statement, all this are very important. Even some companies will give like your designation as even I have trained a lot of people from, uh, from BPOs and they are working in IT right now. That is not an issue. But the thing is they, they are working on some IT related projects. See why? Because if you take service-based company like uh, uh, TCS, Infosys, all these companies are having BPO also, right? All these company they have BPO. And as a project delivery manager, so what the delivery manager will do, they will take two candidates like experienced technical leads, some five candidates like, like five to 10 years experiences, right? And, and 10 more candidates. Say for an example, I need 720 candidates for our team. And then candidates very junior, right? Very junior level, two to three years. I will we will take one to two years, one to three years, and some some five members or ten members we will take from BPO also. Okay, so why? Because from BPO we will get less uh, willing candidate. Okay, so with this the senior profiles we can manage it. These junior profiles that that's what the calculation they will do, and then they will take. So it's a mix of all the people we will take our projects right so we will we will take these candidates from the bpos and uh, other technologies we will train them 
and we will put our we will give them very start starting we will give them a very less uh, task and then we will train them even most some of the bpo candidates also very um, uh, very very much uh, talented and they are very eager to work on it so that type of candidate we will take based on the uh, their aspirations and we will train them that's a company they will train them and then they will work on this sql and related informatica that's what they will give so yeah, everybody will not take all the high high experience profile right so why because if they are taking all the high profile experience candidates then the billing will be very high okay the margin will go down so that's why they will take mix of people most uh, probably they will take uh, less serious candidates like 60 to 70 percentage they will take in that way so why because then only we can get most margin so that's related to the strategy and if you are taking these people right yes they are into same bpo but they are working on it right so the same way if they are going outside of tcs they will say like okay, okay i worked on iacs i worked on informatica power center i worked on this particular project only yes definitely if they have knowledge the other companies also will take it no issues why because they are genuine candidate only they are not the fake candidates see fake candidate means your your background verification is failed because of your your documents like your pf statement your so nowadays all this aadhar card and un number everything is linked link your pan card number everything if you give pan card number aadhar number and everything the companies are ask, asking like other number also right see they will check it thoroughly so how you are getting the uh, bonus or sorry salary and all this they will check it so that's why see you have to be very careful on this documents okay so documents you have to very careful so that's what the companies will take the people okay so that is why you need to be very strong in this particular uh, background verifications okay if you are making notice period is like less definitely will be getting calls you even if you are if you don't believe so make yourself and definitely you can able to get into the uh, in definitely will be getting a calls but so now we have less calls due to the recessions and you would have seen right see uh, yesterday accenture is announced they are going to remove uh, 18000 candidates right 18k candidate from from their workforce and they are going to take uh, 3 lakhs people for for next uh, one and a half years okay so there see your your skill set should be very high if you are having very high uh, skill set and no need to bother about this recession and all this okay see one one thing is if you are very much good in so all this data related projects see if you are in data related project or you are in full stack developer or the front end developers or any other technologies whatever the technologies you are working on go in depth on the technologies learn it okay so learn it and have very good knowledge on that so no one will uh, take you out from the project even some project yes definitely due to the budgeting they will they will release you okay it will happen okay so for any members it will happen is not only for juniors any members it will happen if they are removing from you okay they are removing from the company from the project if you have very good skill set and you are a very knowledgeable person definitely they will not remove you okay they will go for some other project they will give you some other project and also if you are going to the back end uh, project back end related projects say for an example back end means i'm saying sql so sql is basic for all the technologies whatever the data engineer role all the roles whatever i have explained right sql is the basic so a lot of sql sessions i have already posted in youtube so if you have some time just to go through that so throughout your career definitely it will come to your 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 career okay so even i have attended some client interviews uh, for this new projects okay so after this 14 plus years of experience i worked in one project the client first it's they have given the sql questions only okay they asked sql questions only for their there are data related project so why because if you are in very strong in sql yes you can able to handle 
all this kind of activities in in this particular project okay and so sql please go through that any one sql so like oracle sql microsoft sql server sql any was one sql we was strong that is enough if you know very good in sql then you go for other technologies okay like you can learn this informatica power center okay just to learn it it's a data related project right there is no end for this informatica power center they are going to bring iacs now they are going to make idmc right as i told so intelligent data management cloud are going to bring it we have lot of scope for that don't worry next to 15 to 20 years they will survive in the market okay most of the banking and all the uh, domains okay like banking retail healthcare all these domains they are migrating if you if you don't believe go and search it do some research on the net and then see what is the scope for this idmc what is the scope for this iacs okay so that's what you can able to see and yeah definitely you might be uh, like a senior folks also you have joined you would have seen what is the scope for these tools right see all these tools are data related even i am i worked as a informatica power center but i worked as a data, teradata developer right see i know i haven't worked on teradata but my project manager put me into teradata one of the projects so why because teradata we can have all this whatever transformations we are handling here so that we are handling it in the btech script teradata basic query so that we can we can handle it only thing is here we will handle it on the tool all the uh, rank and everything we will handle it in the tool but teradata we will in the btech script we will handle it in the sql statement that's it right you might be working on ssis also right ssis sql server integration service so if you have experience on power center working on ssis is very easy but ssis mostly you will be working on sql statement only right and yeah all this are related to sql based and even i worked on tab tab tableau right you you might be seeing the tableau power bi so all this tool right see if you have experience on these tools right data related project Yes, working on Tableau Power BI also is very easy. You can go into this project. That is why I'm telling, if this project is they are closing it, you assume that if they are the particular team they are closing it, they will try to put you on any other related projects. So the manager will try to put you on the any other projects. So that time, so you can get into this project. All are like similar only, right? All are like similar only. whatever we are loading into as a informatica power center developer we are loading the data into data cloud or on the on premise server the tableau developer or power bi developer or looker or any other developers they will consume the data from here they will create a dashboard right so that's what they will develop it here that's what the scope for it, for you on the tableau or power bi all these tools okay so that's what the scope for this tool and we have lot of uh, lot of scope no worries start learning even i have posted videos okay so if you have time just to go through you can go to the playlist and you can watch it okay so you would have seen uh, you can see the comments also okay so our our comments also you can go to nic it academy okay so here so i am the only person handling it okay no other person is handling go to this uh, channel and you can go to this particular playlist okay playlist i have posted lot of uh, playlist here you can see sql on uh, tamil as well as english informatic also i post it in tamil and english so you can go to this and you can say for an example here i have given all this right so installation and everything i have posted so lot of playlist are available you can go here and then search it and unix iacs and uh, i i haven't started with power bi okay due, due to due to the some time constraints and here i can see you can able to see here sqls and informatica interview series and lot of other playlist i have i have posted here okay so you can see here so you can go to one particular playlist you can go to one particular playlist you can you can check it here right you can go to this one particular playlist you can see all these videos are available 
even i have posted recently all this videos combined and i have posted 15 hours video right so you you do have seen see whenever you are getting some time some time start learning it take your own time and start learning so definitely it will help you you can switch from informatica sorry any other technologies okay you are in different technologies so just to learn it and you can able to migrate from any other technologies any other bpo any other companies to this particular tools this tool have lot of scope so even if you want to learn many things or you want to research by yourself so go and check it what is the scope for iacs what is the scope for which companies they are using companies what are the companies list they are using how the scope and everything you can check, check it online uh, so if you ask okay um, what is mean by fake candidate okay this is a very good question for an example fake candidate means their background verification on the on the salary slip okay salary slip pf statement and this is the fixed candidates they are not getting correct uh, salary slip and correct uh, see so you, your salary should be applied uh, into credited into your bank statements right yes bank statement that's why they will ask if you are telling okay i do not have bank statement on all this right they will they will assume that okay you are definitely like a fake candidate right so they do have lot of other third party vendors you can check here so something like matrix right so matrix is like uh, one of the company background verification companies right so they will go for uh, background verification checks right so how they will do all this right um uh, they will do okay so in india you can make and this is one of the companies okay mostly like uh, uh, our our company service based company they will give background verifications on this right so they will they will check all this background verification how they are checking it and this is like a lot of companies are there okay background verification lot of companies are there you can go to this this is one of the companies they will do like background verification all this right yes you can if you have some time just to go through this this way how they will take your background checks how they will take all this and they do have some uh, they will send a mail okay say for an example i'm saying that i'm one of the uh, previous employee for this particular company they will send a mail to that company so they will have some list of companies right that companies if you are getting then no issues they will not they will they will give right but yeah each and every companies will have a pf statement okay yes definitely they will test it i do not want to go into this fake candidate uh, one uh, and you should know all this if you are making like yourself fake candidate so you should be very so why because lot of lot of people after two months or three months they are getting terminated from the organization okay so make sure that you should not be in this particular position okay so i got some questions i will answer one by one all the questions and uh, yeah and after some time i will unmute you you can ask uh, your 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 one okay if you have career gap say for an example if you have career gap see two years no issues okay so two years if you have career gaps uh, some candidates they were uh, they have after marriage they will not work it so that's okay uh, two years the service com service based companies they will accept it like tcs wipro all these companies right they will accept up to two years after two years these companies will not allow you they do have some policies they are going to make uh, career gap more than two years this to the system itself it will not allow so that's the one thing and this is like service based company and if you go to the product based company some product based company they will not check your career gaps they will check only your knowledge okay startup companies they will check only your knowledge okay but the thing is the product based companies also since they are they are going to work on or those who are handling huge volume of data so that company only will use informatica power center id idmc or iacs or these tools right so they will have some some this these companies they are working they will do some background verification checks even after 10 years 15 years we are going to work on one particular uh, banking or any other client they will do their own background verifications okay so that's why i am telling the so background verifications are very very important so two years they will accept it 
but if you are going for more than two years so startup companies and product based companies they will not con uh, they will not uh, bother about this uh, career gaps so that they will consider it so whatever you worked on previously that itself you can put and so for this any other career gaps you have so try to fill that career gaps with the genuine experience okay so if you have any other questions related to your uh, this one so just uh, whenever you are getting some time on saturday sunday you can ping me i will give you an advice okay and uh, nowadays uh, cloud is everything yes nowadays uh, cloud is everything big data and all this are are related to this only and uh, from uh, how can i switch from support project to this one see you are working on any other technologies or any other support or bpo or anything okay on any other it companies okay no issues migrating from you from different technologies to informatica power center or iecs is very very easy okay start learning sql so i have posted already 10 videos on sql go through the sql you take some 2 to 3 days 4 days or whatever the days you want to take one day one day session take your own time just to prepare it be very well in sql okay if you are very strong in sql then go for informatica power center iacs all this related projects and then whatever the experiences you have say for an example i'm working in one of the different technologies okay different technologies like uh, production support i'm working on so that experience itself you can make it like informatica power center experience or iecs experience and everything but you should be in a position to handle this project you should have that knowledge that's why i'm telling you should have a knowledge why because after getting into the projects you need to work on right so you need to work on that time you should not struggle so a lot of people they will come out of the project after one or two months it is happening so it's happening in our project also so you should be very careful you should be in a position to handle it if you are in very good knowledge if you are have if you have very good knowledge on these technologies so definitely you can able to work on they will not take you out so even the, the background verification means they will verify your company your payroll your previous experiences not the skill set okay none of the companies will give the information to other companies that which project he has worked on which technology is worked on uh, that information they will not give okay the project skill set and your client information none of the company will give that information to other companies they will say okay this employee worked in my company from this year to this year on this designation so only two things they will give okay so that's why you can see so you can go into this particular one okay and i got uh, yeah i got so many uh, so many questions i have already given my my contact so here itself my youtube channel itself i have given right you can go to this uh, uh, this youtube channel itself you can find my contact details okay so this is my contact details you can call me on whatsapp so this is the only contact number i'm using any other contacts number uh, don't uh, believe okay so some of some of them are contacting from different numbers okay so only this number you contact and uh, yeah so this is the number my number okay so you can take from my number you can put it here and you can you can go into this see i have posted 15 hours video right so you can install it and start working on this and you will be getting okay so if you are not afford for the money for the training program yes definitely you can go and buy so yourself and lot of people are learning from my videos and they are getting into the projects okay so don't worry on that so if you want to switch your career from any other technologies to informatica power center or iecs start learning from my video itself and if you want to get some customized training with all the notes and everything join my live training okay so that's what see live training i'm going to take from next week uh, next week saturday i'm going to start for iecs weekend say iecs weekend i'm going to start say for an example you are looking for iecs weekdays training then join this weekend training okay so learn it and whenever i'm going to start weekend so that batch you can switch okay for an example uh, april 20th or 15th i'm going to start new batch or 14th okay this these days i'm going to start a new batch why because this current batch i will take 
uh, some time to complete it. So once completed, I will start a new batch here in this week. But if you do not want to wait for up to this, this time, if you want to start your uh, uh, learning now, you can join this weekend session. After that, while starting weekdays, you can switch from weekend to weekdays. So that, that flexibility I'm giving, so you can switch. So that's one thing on IACS training, okay? If you want to get into IACS. Informatica also, the same way. Informatica weekday session, I'm going to take. Informatica Power Center, I do not have any weekend. Why? Because I'm also working professional. So from morning 7 to 9 only, I will take the session. After that, I will start my uh, work. Okay. Like, uh, so, so I will share my experiences, how we are working on the real-time projects, all this. So definitely I will share my experiences with that. You can uh, you can go into the projects uh, uh, interviews. Definitely you can get into, and you'd have seen my lot of uh, lot of videos on Informatica Power Center and all this, right? And you can get that confident. Uh, definitely you can go to that. Okay. I got one question. If you learn IACS, how IDMC also manageable? Yes, IDMC is similar to IACS only. They are just going to rename it. That's it. Okay. And this one, and uh, make admission open for ongoing PLSQL batch. See, PLSQL, I have already completed, uh, up to today, I have already completed eight hours. Okay, so eight hours I have completed already. Up to procedure and function, I have completed. But I cannot uh, allow you to enter into this, uh, right? So you will feel that. Even if two hours is missed, then you will feel it, right? So that's why you will not get this. That's why I always advise, uh, you can join in the other. See, if uh, I'm checking only money minded, yes, definitely I can allow you. No issues. I can get the money, I can allow you. But the thing is, you need to get the, uh, all the concept, right? I cannot allow after eight hours, right? So that I will follow. So you can join my next year training, or you can get that uh, if you are, say, sometimes you want this particular only, I will send previous recording. See? All my trainings are recorded and at the end of the day, I will give you the recordings and I will give the notes. I will give the exercises. Okay. See all this. I have, uh, I have all these notes and exercises. So definitely I will give you, you go to this informatic SQL, PL SQL. Yes. I have all these notes with exercises, right? So day wise exercise, I'll, I have everything I will give to my students. That's okay. But Informatica, yes, the Informatica also. I do have all the notes and uh, uh, the, the, the project level mapping sheets and maplet. See, a lot of concepts are there. The project explanation, you can see here. See, all this I have, complex issues and each and every transformations. And you can see this, uh, the exercises, right? So each day, a lot of exercises are there, case studies are there. So those things, I will give it to my live students. And you can see here, so these are all the IACS uh, the course content and all this. Yeah, definitely. If you want, say for an example, if you are not able to afford for the training and you want to learn quickly and I'm providing Informatica Power Center recording. Okay. So Informatica Power Center recordings also uh, I'm providing with this recording. So many people got recording and learned it and then they have, they have uh, get into this IACS or this projects. Okay. IACS recordings also available. Uh, if you need, Yes, you can contact me through this number. I will I will send you that information. So what that details has. So all this. So it's entirely we have complete IACS recordings and complete Informatica Power Center. One advantage is if you are getting any doubts, yes, you can always contact me and get it clarified. But the thing is, I cannot full fledged. I cannot ask uh, get into your doubts. Why? Because I need to look at my live training students. But here, uh, you can get whenever I'm getting some some time, I will respond to your questions. Okay, so that's what. See, you can if you want, you can get the recordings with the notes, exercises, and everything. Okay, so but you want to get complete training? Yes, you can uh, invest some amount. Yes, right. So I'm I'm charging twelve k for this live training. This twelve k, yes, definitely you can see a lot of people even they got it like a joining bonus also, right? See, that is your investment. So even I'm working in one project, I want to learn something. 
i will go to my uh, live training okay some uh, live training i i used to go so i have taken live training for aws gcp all this i have taken i have completed certification all this whenever i want to learn yes i want to survive in my uh, organization yes i have to enhance my knowledge right yeah definitely you have to learn something i see even the same iacs in outer side they are charging 20k uh, 25k 15k and all but i am charging uh, with high content i am charging the same amount okay so 12k now i am charging for informatica power center and all this and i will give you if you join informatica power center or iacs i will give the sql notes okay sql notes all the notes and the day wise exercise also i will give as a complimentary it's uh, i i am taking this training for this notes for 5000 right so that 5000 i am giving you for free okay so but yeah make you use of that well, what is the charge for plsql uh, plsql recordings not it available i will make after some time okay yeah i, I got lot of questions uh, i'll try to answer one by one all the questions yeah just uh, give me some 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 time i will answer your questions uh, i'm 2013 passed out can i start informatica uh, uh, career yes you can start even if you are uh, getting into 2013 it's like 10 years right see this 10 years you have to put experiences okay experiences otherwise the companies will not take you right see if i'm going to take uh, freshers i will take freshers from the this particular year only right so those who are coming out this particular year 2023 april or uh, may so that candidate only i will take it like a fresher i will train them i will take it into my project but i cannot take uh, some 2 to 3 years experience can it uh, like a uh, previous years passed out students as a fresher right so i will take it like them as a experience candidate you need to get some genuine experiences so that you have to work on uh, you contact me so i will guide you how to get that okay but uh, 2013 see lot of people are misguiding the students uh, with this fake experiences if you go and check success rate very few members are working okay most of them are getting out of the out of the project after one or two months you should have seen right fake candidates uh, background verification all this see why because they are misguiding the people uh, they are uh, giving some misguidance okay everyone can learn informatica power center and most of the uh, i can see lot of things are happening in the youtube as well as in the uh, internet misguiding the people okay like uh, 10 years 20 years all this uh, yes you can you can learn informatica power center you can get into the project but what about your background verification the companies will test it right uh, definitely the companies will test it right so they they will test it all your experiences everything they will test it what is the company you are having all this so that you can you cannot uh, make it okay but you have to get some genuine experience so that you have to get it okay so that is one thing so you have to go for some genuine experience you need to have your uh, uan number that is your uh, pf numbers your salary should be uh, credited to your bank account your your pan card number should have that entry so if i put pan card number or aadhar number nowadays i'm getting all the information about your previous salaries even i got some some members are asking me they are working on government government companies sorry government they are working then they are asking okay so government i'm getting some less salary like 50000 40000 but i'm getting news that uh, if i learn informatica power center i can learn in lakhs so can i come into this informatica see if you are in working on iac uh, government projects right if i am going to enter your pan card number or aadhar number it will give you all your previous salaries and everything right which organization you are worked on what is your pf statement all this it will show you so how will you escape from that so that you have to think okay so ask them so how i can uh, from this okay genuine experiences that's what i am not doing any experiences fact fake one i am not doing it uh, so check it online i get that information that is your complete your responsibility okay and i got yeah so many questions i will answer one by one uh, so wait for some time uh, sorry to keep you wait 
so without pf no no companies uh, will, will not take it so how the com- see com- you will get the call but after one month they will do the they will get all your documents hr will get all the documents they will test you right and how the difficulties okay see the learning part is very very easy learning part you are working on any other technologies if you want to move on to informatica power center so that is completely i can give you 100 percentage guarantee you can get into informatica power center project or iecs project you are working on informatica project you want to move on to iecs project so that is i can give you 100 percentage guarantee that definitely you can go into the iecs project okay so, so that's i can give you no issues but the thing is from fake candidate like 10 years 20 years 15 years you are working on on organization like a government organization you want to move on to informatica so those things you have to be very careful okay so with this false uh, false commitments don't give up your job okay current job so that's very important right i'm restarting after career gap okay yeah half see if you are some some woman, woman candidates they are coming up with career gaps 5 years 10 years yes you can go into so they will accept it some uh, even if you take uh, tcs hcl wipro all these companies right sometimes they need the people they will go for some program like women uh, empowerment right so in that case definitely they will accept you and you are in usa no issues the usa most of them h1b ead they will do right like uh, they will go for um, uh, the h1 h4 visa and yeah definitely they are getting into informatica power center i have trained lot of people uh, on informatica power center and iecs they are getting into the projects okay so nowadays only this short time we are facing some recessions due to that they are not getting the enough calls in usa why because the companies are waiting Uh, okay the so some some banks and everything is there um, they are closing right so that's why they are thinking okay so this it's one or two months we will wait after them uh, we will expand our project we will allocate them for some funding so that's why we are getting some slow down but definitely after two to three months it will it will uh, boom up okay don't worry on that definitely you will get lot of projects so that's one thing do we get certificate after this course yeah this is good question okay see for an example this certificate whatever the certificate the institute is providing udemy certificate or any certificate so that is for our reference only this certificates are not valid if you are going to any companies see companies will ask only external certification okay say for an example if you are saying that i am a informatica candidate external certificate you do on informatica corporation if you go to this right informatica external certification you have lot of certifications are there so that you can do it iecs certification yes the informatica is providing right you can go to informatica corporation here you can go to this one this certification you have to do okay this is the certification you have to do see here cloud data and application integration r34 see this is the iecs certification okay not the institute Uh, in, if the institute are giving certification that is not valid so this is the one and uh, you can you can register by yourself here you can do the certifications okay so cloud data integration application integration both you can do the certification here you can enroll by yourself by giving all this informations and you can book the slot and you can you can get your your enrollment okay then you can go to this uh, you can do the certification that's a valid one see institute certifications are not valid are you teaching tableau or power bi i used to teach it before but nowadays i'm not teaching why because due to time constraint i'm in, i'm into one particular project so it's it's going like a fully occupied i couldn't able to spend time on other things right see that's why i couldn't able to manage other uh, other technologies but yeah definitely i will i will concentrate after some time on other technologies as well okay i, I will take uh, the training but etl testing power bi and tableau i have already posted videos like uh, five hours videos four hours videos and what is the scope for idmc and uh, cdi 
Informatica CDI. Yes, we have a lot of scope. Don't worry. That's why I have taken all this. Uh, data bricks. Yes, you can. Uh, data bricks. Yes, you can go for uh, Microsoft one. See, these are all about related to data related projects. If you are getting into one particular project, uh, Informatica Power Center, Data uh, data Stage, or Abinitio, or Data Bricks, ADF, you know, Azure Data Factory, right? So you have these kind of and, uh, AWS glue. What about this uh, glue one, right? So these are all ETL related, uh, ETL related services in the cloud, okay? So Azure, you have AWS, Azure Data Factory. In AWS, you have the glue. So all these are related to Informatica, DTL, sorry, all is all are related to ETL only. If you know the ETL concept, yes, you can go for ETL. So you can search it, okay? So is it possible if I have four years experience on Informatica Power Center support? See, if you have four years experience on Informatica Power Center or any other technologies, as I told, so learn this tool. It has huge demand in future. Definitely, I can say IACS, IDMC, we have a lot of opportunities you will get into. Even if you are going to this particular tool, you will not lose any jobs. Okay, you we have a lot of opportunities are there. Six years career cap. Uh, if you are in you are in USA, that is not an issue. But in India, they will check all the background verifications. Okay. So as I told, background verification are very, very important. Still, we cannot migrate all the objects from Power Center to IACS. Yes, definitely. For the migration, uh, even as a as organization, we have also raised a lot of uh, vendor ticket to IACS, that is Informatica Corporation, saying that migration is very, very uh, com uh, complex for us, very challengeable to manage to migrating all this Informatica components to IACS directly. So that's why the company started developing the IACS mapping itself from the scratch. Okay, they started moving. If everything is moving to the cloud, then what will be the demand for Informatica power center? See, after some time, they will, they will, they have already closed the license to 10.5 only, right? So Informatica Corporation after 10.5, they haven't released a new version. They already informed the companies that we are going to stop the services for 10.2, the lower versions in another one or two years. 10.5, yes, they will give some time to migrate from 10.5 or 10.4 or any other version to Informatica, Informatica IACS versions. They will give some time. After that, they will stop this Informatica Power Center. Why? Because they have given all this services into IACS itself, right? They will Informatica company itself. They are not spending much time on Informatica Power Center tool. They are going to make it like IACS. But for IACS, Informatica Power Center is the basic. If you know Informatica Power Center, then no worries. We have good scope. Be confident and start learning this IDMC or IACS. We have a lot of scope. Okay. As working in IACS, do we have to learn Python? A and ML and APIs. Yes, if you know Python or front end API calls like APIs and how to get this uh, uh, API calls and everything, if your project is going to see, most of the projects are working on CDA. Okay. Most of the project working on, I worked last two projects on IACS related. So I, everything they are working on CDA only, not CA, but some companies we do have CAI also. Okay, cloud application integration, some companies are using. If they are using CAI, they will ask, do we have CAI knowledge? For CAI, yes, you need to have some uh, front-end technologies like API calls, some front-end tools like Postman, all this. If you have some experiences, that's... See, if you know CDI, learning CAI is very, very easy. Just uh, if you are into any programming uh, skills that you have Java or API calls and everything, uh, very easy to learn the CAI, okay? So we have a lot of certifications on cloud, but how to become a platinum certified pro professional. Yeah, that's why so you go to the certification here. Uh, you can go to this Informatica certification. You can get to know. So what type of certification you want? See here, see R34, R34, they are giving uh, 
combined IACS cloud data integration, application integration. Previously, they kept application integration only for at 18 percentage. Okay. So now they have increased this certification, R34 certification into 60 percentage, 40 percentage. If you want to go for 60 per, uh, sorry, if you want to get into certifications, yes, you have to learn all this. See, this is what I'm teaching. So completely I'm teaching all this. Don't worry on this. So everything I will give uh, the notes and everything. But CAI, yes, I'm doing, I'm working on that. So why? Because I haven't worked on CAI before, but I'm working on it. So to create some POCs and everything. So once it is completed, I will start taking CAI also. Okay, sometimes it will take. And this is what the questions will be. So how the IASS will be. Very easy only. I did Informatica Power Center, Power Center certification before. Okay, so that's why. See, based on your experiences, you go for it. Okay, that's why. See, they have uh, increased this one from 18 percentage to 40 percentage now. But you want to know web services, all this process. But give me some time. I will take these concept as well. Okay, after that, you can go for some. Uh, you go and attend some some quizzes and you can go for this particular one okay data integration professional certified no here if you see this r34 we have here right they have given r34 so cloud data and application integration right r35 is like data quality so that's what they have come up with both we have so it's based on your thing Cloud data application and integration R36. There are uh, maybe another versions, another version of this one. They are they are changing the certification nowadays. Only previously we have only R34. Now if you see R34, 35, 36, they have they have brought up. So it depends. They will change it and questions also they will change it. Just to go through before going for. Okay. So can you please tell me what certification need to be done for ETL testing? So ETL testing, uh, you can have basic of SQL certification, like you can have uh, some certification on the SQL side, Oracle certified professional, you can do, and you can do Informatica certification. That's fine for ETL testing. Why? Because ETL testing, both are combined, right? That's why we will go for. IDMC is a combo. Yes, IDMC is like a combo for everything. Okay, in IACS, how can we access metadata? See, for IACS, we have to, if I want to access metadata, we do have different services. These questions I will answer in the training only. If you ask how we are uh, how we are accessing metadata, we can access metadata through API calls. Okay, you can create REST API and you can connect to the metadata information. Why? Because metadata will be maintained by Informatica Corporation, right? So those things we have to, uh, in our system, we have only secured agent. In our organization, we'll have secured agent. The metadata will be maintained in Informatica cloud. So we have to connect to this cloud and get the information. So for that, we will go for a REST API calls and the API calls we will make and then get. And we do have other uh, different services, Discovery IQ and uh, some, some information you can get it from uh, this particular tool itself. Okay, Discovery IQ we have and from monitoring itself, operational insight if we go to operational insight you can get some some insights on the metadata information so that you can get it so those things i can explain this one okay uh, so don't give any contact information here okay and yeah so other informations yes uh, may get sql content in tamil see i have already posted sql in tamil i so everything i have explained no need to explain one by one. I have explained all this. And uh, uh, is there any possibility uh, to work on full stack in Informatica? Yes, Informatica Power Center, Informatica IDQ, data quality, and uh, governance, data governance, all this like they are bringing all the services into one particular tool. That's why the full stack they are bringing it. Okay, so do we get certificate? Uh, that's what I have explained. The institute certificate are not valid. Only the external certification are valid. So moonlighting nowadays, it is not a problem. That's what uh, 
uh, they they started the company started asking the people to come two days to the companies right to stop the moonlighting see if you are going for moon moonlighting that means moonlighting is nothing but as a one employee okay you are you are working for one particular company and you are working for some other company like uh, you are working okay so two things you might be working this particular candidate might be working on different name okay his wife name or somebody else name he might be working uh, he working actively here he he will get salary and most of the time he will be managing both this happened due to the covid time but now now the companies got to know this uh, some company some people they got uh, two salaries also they got their uh, uh, salary slip slip itself they got pan card numbers everything they got into right so definitely if you go to your uh, income tax department they will they will capture all this go and check it see all your pan card related uh, your salary side it will be come into this uh, pan card related everything they will capture so that's why they have taken lot of people from wipro and other companies they have removed lot of people here and yeah that's what they have started and yeah if you are working for two days other companies that's why they have started calling you for two days at least for the companies then they will cut this particular process right that's why the company started asking you to come at least you need to come for two days three days to the companies okay third party scheduler tool all this i have explained in our uh, uh, in our to uh, in our class you have to join my live training okay sir i completed my mba in 2015 sir okay from two, uh, from 2016 to uh, last year may 9th i worked uh, three different companies in bpo sector sir okay so due to uh, layoff uh, i lost my job from last month may from last month may to till now i i will be in uh, free sir so in this case i will can i move to it side sir okay so you are in uh, you which which domain you are done previous sir which company you are done uh, bpo sir bpo uh, okay okay BPO. but you have okay. all this genuine experiences and letter and everything right yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, you have all this genuine experiences and everything yes sir yes sir i have okay so that means is that company related to it related projects they are doing uh, not it sir it is mortgage sir loans department loans department but they are doing some it related projects right they are supporting yes, it related projects ah, yes, sir, yes, so sir, in yes, that sir. case yes definitely you can make yourself as informatica developer you can go okay. into that okay mm -hmm. no issues okay. on that sir one but more question your your background verification uh, should be very mm -hmm. genuine okay yes, that sir, you have to make sure okay one more question sir mm -hmm. uh, actually in this uh, free time i believe one person sir he told to join my uh, at my course so like that i took a one consultancy document they also added one pf account sir and it is there any problem sir okay that's what you you do it by yourself some set checks okay whether it has been reflected are you getting your yes, salary sir. to your bank account Uh, no sir i didn't get any salary but uh, one pf account extra added sir hmm. uh, see that's what was... see pf account i can generate some pdf statement that is not an issue i okay, can generate okay, see if you want pf okay. account i can generate you it's like a okay. uh, matter of seconds i can within one hour i can generate you some pdf statement okay but the okay, thing sir. is what about your salary is getting to your bank account that is important right that yes, is sir, important yes, they will check okay. they will get your okay, pan card sir. number they will get your uh, uh, your uh, experience letter okay uh, your company names your aadhar card information nowadays most of the companies asking for aadhar card information also uh, okay sir when uh, informatic development class will start sir i am taking i uh, i have already started uh, around okay. 16 sessions are over now i am going to take okay. next uh, informatic batch by this 20th april only till then okay. if you want you can start learning your sql concept thoroughly you can okay. get into sql then you can go for okay, okay? 2019 okay i want to start my career in it field so can yeah, i 2009 yeah 2019 mm -hmm. is not an issue like you are okay. very uh, very few years right see this yes, year sir. try to get some genuine certificate okay at least you have to get some uh, genuine certificate you need to mm -hmm. get your bank statement your salary should be credited 
some companies okay. they are offering okay some company they are offering like uh, uh, they will get in they will like a they will give you the offer you have to go to the company you have to work for some times you have to learn it after some time they will give you the certificate like after 6 month or one year so that companies you have to find it and you have to get the certificate from that yeah. you can switch over okay okay that's what Sir, most I of them are doing. that is like a uh, background verification to be clear but if you are yeah. completely going for only with some fake pdf start statements all this uh, you will get caught okay okay sir uh, and then b english is that available is it eligible that's sir? not an issue see ba english oh. become that is not an okay. issue we do uh-huh. have lot of candidates for our projects they are from different different backgrounds like a bcom ba bc bsc bca okay. like different backgrounds okay. are there we will take okay, okay no issues on the educational okay. qualification we need only basic uh, bachelor degree that's it okay sir okay but Thank the thing you. is you need to have genuine experience letter okay, okay. Mm. uh jitendra is finished sujit here yeah. from yeah. pune hmm. uh, i am regularly follow, uh, following up your youtube channels and it's very helpful to in our project so i am yeah, very thank thankful you very much. to you yeah yeah it's very thankful from our community and also i am referring to my colleagues and all my teams just refer this youtube channel and all uh, yeah thank you very much I'm, you I'm know one of the company one of the company in chennai uh, they uh, they gave my youtube videos for their uh, candidates they are taking yeah. the candidates for their uh, training right they have given right, this right. Uh, youtube channel start learning uh, from here they have given already yeah. Yeah. yeah i am also working profession and it's very helpful in our real time projects all this yeah, yeah, also i am yeah one more yeah, question i much. want to ask mm-hmm. uh, one more question sir uh, we are uh, having a no sql database and we are de- yeah, correct. we are preparing a data mo- data modeling for the no sql database But, okay uh, aren't able to find any proper content how to model the data model for the no sql data model if you have a certain means if you have a certain knowledge or Uh, no sql no sql uh, i i worked on only cassandra okay other yeah, uh, uh, other databases i haven't worked on before but okay. no sql if you are working uh, data <laughs> model it's like you have <laughs> see this is relational data model we will be having all the tables and views and all the objects are related with each other right. then we are making it right but no hmm, sql right. dbs are not going into this category they will make it right. like a, some other different format they will use like a json column file how we are yeah columnar we will use uh-huh. it and everything uh-huh. like a data we will maintain uh-huh. one data set within the uh-huh. data set they will go for other data set other data set in that way the hierarchy uh-huh. we will maintain that way they will uh-huh. go for the no sql db but right. how they are uh-huh. maintaining the data model at least uh-huh. you need to have some knowledge on the data modeling okay we do have some uh-huh. tools data modeling yeah. Uh, yeah so I that i do not have any experience on that uh, yeah, yeah 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 so that's what i do not want to comment on that but it's yeah, similar yeah, yeah. i worked on a data mm-hmm. modeling before for one mm-hmm. of the tool called airwin so airwin ah, yeah, yeah, model, i worked actually, before actually i also working on the we are also working on the airwin but uh, uh-huh. for the no sql database i am not able to model properly so that's why i asked okay Okay, okay. Yeah. So even I do not have uh, even, even yeah, on the internet experience. also they don't have that much of uh, yes, content. Yes, yes. Maybe the they are bringing right newly. They might be uh, ha, doing ha, it ha. after some time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So you can go with Erwin. Yeah. Uh, try to do ha, that Erwin. Erwin itself, we do have some do some yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, research here. Yeah. We, hmm. we are also using one of the important um, upcoming tool that Magic Draw. It's very powerful okay. too. both mm-hmm. tools we are using but still we are in <laughs> trouble that we can't be able to do a proper data model for no sql yeah yeah okay That's... okay yeah yeah some challenges we we may face in our real mm-hmm. time yes mm-hmm. yeah, thanks thanks sir yeah, thank you thank <laughs> you very much follow yeah, we okay we are with uh, sir thank you yeah, thank you very much uh, we uh, keep in touch uh, okay you, okay you, sure. all of you please uh, watch my videos and Uh, whenever i'm getting free time i'm trying to upload most of the videos so whatever i'm spending time just i'm um, i'm making i'm asking to join that button okay if you want to join yes join it's up to your convenient only okay but a lot of videos are available you can go through these videos you can get into this uh, uh, you can learn and by yourself you can learn what lot of things 
I will try to add more videos. Yeah, I thought of uh, taking some interview series. Why? Because most of them are asking like interview series. I have already started. I working on it. I'm working on it. I have already created some uh, playlist. So I'm creating it. Even if I'm going to take one hour video, right? I have to at least work for five hours. Okay, entire week I have to work for. See, daily I'm going to work on one 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 day. Sorry, uh, one one hour video. I have to at least work on like even 10, 10 hours for that. But yeah, definitely I will put it. So I have a lot of uh, content are there. I already started and I will uh, I will do it, okay? Even I have started Udemy, I have taken a lot of videos, but I couldn't be able to con complete that because of my uh, work. But I will I will continue uh, on Udemy also. I'm already creating the content for Udemy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Uh, one question. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, here uh, we are IACS uh, DA and AI, AI is there. Which are we are working both, right? Uh, we are uh, taking the class both. AIS. Okay, you are asking like a cloud data integration and cloud application integration. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Application yes. integration. See, application integration nowadays I'm not taking, okay? okay but uh, okay. I'm doing the POCs. Why? Because I okay. haven't worked on application integration previously. So I'm okay. doing some POCs. Once done, I will take. I will start taking. But be, be in touch. I will take some time, uh, uh, like one or two months, I will take. See, why? why because I, I couldn't be able to spend much time to mm -hmm. create the content on this. But okay. I'm working on it, okay? I will take. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the genuine information, yes. sir. One yes. small note here. Uh -huh. Actually, I am an informatic developer uh, uh, around eight years uh, uh -huh. in Accenture. Just I want to need. Which one is here? Uh, most probably, companies are using a CDA, uh, CDA or a, a. Which one is CA, C, CDA only? Most of the projects are using. Okay, CDA yes. only. Most of the eighty percentage of the projects are using. You will be getting uh -huh. for calls for uh -huh. CDA only. Okay, okay. CA. Okay. Only 20% of the projects, they will use CDI. Those who are working on CD, CAI, they will ask questions on, okay, do you have experience on CAI? Okay, they will ask. Why? Because CAI, you need to have basic knowledge on API calls and AP, some uh, front-end tools uh, related, you need to have knowledge, okay? Front-end tools, okay, yeah, APIs. Uh, yeah, yeah APIs, you need to yeah. have knowledge. Okay. So Hello. You definitely you can uh, teach after some time, right? Okay. Yeah, definitely will I will the... take. No worries. Okay. I will take okay. definitely. I have already started my POCs. I okay. have completed some connectivity from the front end, postman tool and everything. So okay. I will be doing it. Okay. So no worries. Okay. Even I will post some videos on YouTube also. Okay. YouTube also for related to A? Yeah, yeah. I will I will post. Be in touch, okay? Sure, sure. And Can some of them, have... some of them are not uh, uh, joined my. Sorry, they haven't subscribed my channel. So please subscribe it. Then only you'll sure, get all sure, the notifications. Sure. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure. This is good yeah. information for me. And thank you for your genuine information. Uh -huh. Because of yeah. uh, some people, they are saying, "Yeah, we're telling, but after joining the course, they are not uh, tell them." Sure. Yeah. Thank, uh -huh. you. thank, thank you, sir. you. So related the uh, related the questions which you have asked, I'm going to start new batch by april sorry march 25th right this uh, saturday i'm going to start iacs weekend batch so if you want to join weekdays batch weekdays you want to join join in this weekend start learning and uh, this uh, some two weeks you just start learning it after that you can join into weekdays batch okay this one i'm giving you like a bonus okay don't wait for that weekdays batch I'm giving you like a bonus, like a two weeks we will take, right? Two weekends before starting this 20th. You will take one, two, three, three weekends. So that three weekends you can join here. At least uh, eight hours you can complete. So that eight hours itself, it's more than uh, enough to start. One more time you can join it here and you can get into. So April, Those, from two, April 1st, you uh, will start to Sandra? From April 1st? Yeah, April, yeah, April, sorry, April 1st. April 1st, Hmm. Okay, and one more thing, Chandra, regarding SQL, uh, do we have any SQL uh, queries to practice? Any yeah, documents that's what. See, SQL? if you are joining IACS or if you are joining Informatica Power Center, I will give you this SQL content for all of my students. Okay, this SQL content with all the notes and uh, exercises I will give you. Okay, 
day wise exercise i will give it to them and all my videos are available in youtube with that sql content exercises they will start learning it so that's why you want to start your iacs on this april 20th batch i recommend you to go for this weekend batch you get this i uh, sql videos and sql content and everything sql videos i have already posted in youtube so that notes and exercises i will give it to you with that before starting this april uh, 20th session you can get into practice and get your practice all this done once i'm going to start here you can start learning so very thoroughly so two okay. months you can take your career path okay two months minimum two months needed i i want to make you to complete uh, informatica developer or iecs developer at least mm -hmm. needed two months that's what i can give it is not a single day i can make it like uh, like a informatica developer all this okay it needs okay. some some homework that you have to complete then only you can able to manage in the project see lot of project lot of members due to some false information on the youtube they are getting into this uh, informatica projects after one or two months they are coming out of the projects they were not able to manage it so why because they do not have enough hands on they do not have enough uh, experiences on sql experiences on informatica previous experiences on uh, the how the informatica projects will work agile methodology all this right they are coming out they are getting the, the lead will get to know right the other members also will get to know the way of the how the way of you are working right they will get to know whether you are like you have really hands on experience or not they will get to know after two or three days you started doing some task definitely they will get to know but you should not be in a position that's why two months are needed to genuinely get all the experiences all the all the hands on okay so do that within that two months time anyhow the recession will go off so definitely after that uh, you can get into the good projects so you can see my pro might uh, might be uh, some members here lot of members also here they would have already taken my videos or my watched my videos here youtube and they got into informatica projects okay so when is the new iacs weekend batch i'm going to start weekend batch by april 1st next week saturday i'm going to start it uh, new iacs batch uh, it's a evening batch okay Uh, like uh, chandra like i have already enrolled uh, in informatica from other tutor uh, okay like uh, so now i want to i have not get any job right now like uh -huh. uh, i will learn iacs from you so uh, like uh, the, by learning iacs is enough should i uh, go videos of your informatica videos also okay yeah yeah you can uh, informatica videos i cannot provide for iacs training that you have to pay uh -huh. pay separately no, no, because... like uh, that knowledge is enough like iacs knowledge yeah, yeah that uh, knowledge is enough. see whatever oh. you are mm. currently working uh, you got the training that is okay mm. no issues mm. uh, may i know why you are not you are getting calls or you are not getting calls or are you are already uh, working uh, on any projects no 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 like i am unemployed mm. like i am getting calls but i could not able to track the interview because they taught only basic things which are not real time scenarios they have not taught so when they are asking real time scenarios uh, i am getting caught to the time effect guy uh, okay okay so, see uh, the project i have to explain right see if i'm if i'm going for uh, any projects any interviews uh, first of uh, all as i as a interviewer what i will ask uh -huh. okay uh -huh. uh, can you explain your projects what was your role and uh, how you will migrate the code from how you are deploying your code so all this questions only i used to ask within 5 to 10 okay. minutes i will okay. assess the people whether they are real time people are not okay okay i will assess okay. see why because okay. lot of candidates even they are going for proxies and everything they are getting uh -huh. if i am taking to my project i am responsible mm. okay. i am responsible for you if i am taking five people for my projects i am improving five people i am responsible for the, those five people and if they are getting into any problem i need to answer to okay. my manager why you have taken this people right then think about okay. myself think about myself okay. i will thoroughly check myself right i have okay i have to thoroughly check myself whether this candidate is genuine candidate or he can able to manage it at least i he can okay. able to manage it in in future i will not get into trouble so that i will think okay. right okay. so that is the way i will ask okay what is the tool you have worked on which tool you will use okay. scheduler which tool uh, which tool you are using for migrating 
uh, which tool you are using for uh, deploying the uh, uh, this one whether you are using uh, jenkins or any devops tool you are using and uh, ansible or anything okay so i can ask these tool kind of questions then whatever they see the concept wise you can get into this youtube video and they can you can learn yeah, it yeah, yeah. but uh, the uh. other project related stuff i cannot post it on youtube that is uh, i cannot post it right uh, publicly i cannot post it so that information okay. those who are coming into project only they can explain my experiences okay, okay. so we okay. will how we will work agile methodology how we will have this uh, jira okay. how we will assign the task on the jira okay we will take the task in the jira we will have the daily stand up calls and we will get all the progress from the from our uh, teams and yes okay. this is what we will i will explain all this like uh, okay. last 5 to 6 hours i am going to explain on these topics only like jira is agile and your scheduler deployment right project architecture complex scenarios and your uh, source system target system how you are managing architecture all this i will explain the frameworks some frameworks some companies will follow the frameworks so that frameworks okay they are taking the see etl is nothing but taking the data from source to target that's fine okay so what is the framework they are using staging layer they might be using layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 how they are loading all the data how they are creating a views semantic layer how it will be consumed by the uh, downstream applications all this i have to take so that i will take in the training only okay but if you are getting okay. the recordings yes i have already explained so that recording also you can get it see the recordings for an example iacs recordings it will be like this it will be like this with notes okay. i have i have uh, i have given i will give all these videos it is similar to okay our day to day how i am taking it's like everything like mm -hmm. one and a half hours one hour video right okay. sample resume map led stored procedure parameters snowflake connection project level session architecture mm -hmm. variables change data capture right see task flows and uh, all this i will take resume preparation see all this i will take deployment project execution agile methodology day to day activities see all this i will take i used to take okay Okay, so like uh, if I la, la, this take, session take I have taken mm -hmm. I have taken two hours nine minutes right two hours okay. nine minutes mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. the way I used to take how many hours I have taken forty five minutes I have taken this one right so resume preparation scheduler I have taken here one hour so okay. so lookup catch dynamic lookup catch all this I have taken say like this I used to take this video I will give it to you all with that notes okay. you can able to manage it by yourself also. If you want, okay. okay, okay. If you are not able to afford, see, okay. same one of my, uh, I'm not sure who has joined. See, one of my, um, oh, in one of my WhatsApp group, somebody has joined, took all the contacts, and same training, whatever I'm providing, same training, he's charging CDS, CDI, charging 20K, CI, he's charging 20K. Okay. Whatever training I'm providing, is providing for 40K. See, I'm okay. providing only for 12K. Okay, one of the person took my content and he is charging 40k. See, like this is what's happening. Okay, so this is what's happening in the market. Okay, be careful. No, in the market, you are the best, Chandra. Like, you are very genuine and very honest and very knowledgeable person. Like, yeah, they are misleading, and I am the victim of it. Uh, I don't want to reveal his name, but uh, yeah, so yeah, no, I do not want to reveal his name uh, and all. Uh, why because a lot of mm. members are there i do not want to pinpoint uh, anyone but uh, i'm i want to give information to the candidate okay so this is uh, what happening and uh, recession also they are they are exaggerating okay see recessions uh, uh, we have seen a lot of recessions when uh, i was uh, i was uh, i have uh, i completed my mtech do, during 2007 okay. that time was huge 2007 and 2008 and all it's like a huge recession so that time yeah. we were we got into the projects but after one year we haven't get any projects we were in bench so that time okay but the thing is up that time also after that also we have seen lot of uh, lot of recessions many recessions but we are into projects only right we are not getting out of the it see recession will always happen will always happen don't worry if you are very knowledgeable person no need okay. no need to worry about recessions and all okay, okay. recession will okay. always happen project will always happen they will take lot of people and everything and mm -hmm. yeah 
don't worry on that don't think negative negative way you have 100 percentage confident on you lot of people i have trained so many years eight and a half years i'm taking trainings i have taken okay. different different candidates candidates from bpo candidate from freshers candidate from other technologies other if you have on your on your uh, on your strength if you have 100 percentage confident i want to get Perfect. into it i want to get into it career definitely you can get it into the thing is you have to find the way okay you have to find the way how can i go to this particular role and you have to find the way there are lot of ways are available but all the ways you have to find the genuine way then only throughout your career it will not be uh, impact on you why because see i joined after this year i joined one of the banks you know the bank here so this bank is doing background verification now up to my college they went okay. into college one of my senior professor they were telling that okay they they asked me also oh okay? god so that level they are they are training okay why because it's a banking they want to thoroughly check your previous candidature that's why they are doing okay so yeah, they will do uh, if it is us best or uh, or any other uh, companies they definitely they will background verification they will do so all your okay. background definitely they will do you should not be in a trouble after some time also that's why i'm giving so get okay. all this experiences are genuine experiences okay yeah please go chandra mm. chandra with basic knowledge of sql can you go ahead and learn uh, iacs yes definitely uh, you can learn basic yes yes definitely you can learn only thing is you need to have 100 percentage confident uh, whatever the effort you are making on first day at least put the same effort on next 60 days 90 days even uh, i have taken um, people uh, one year they have studied all six months they have studied their aim is to go into it very good company they have studied from bpos and everything they are into companies okay one of my student he learned six years before he is now in australia okay so westpac account you know right okay. yeah yeah westpac account so he is in now australia he joined one of the service based company he is from bpo your bpo he was working in chennai one of the mm -hmm. bpo companies i trained him he went into contract basis one company after that get into full time then he was mm -hmm. working for four or five years then he is in now he is in australia okay last mm -hmm. week he sent a message that uh, i came chandra he came to here uh, mm -hmm. so this particular project okay even okay. i am in i am not in uh, india so that's why i am asking you to call in uh, in whatsapp so i am in canada right now oh okay okay yeah so doing do you are doing both answer project and helping uh, indian indian uh... Yeah, why? Because I'm taking this training last eight years, but I moved here mm -hmm. re very recent years only, right? So okay. yes, it's a very short time, but uh, mm -hmm. training, yes, I'm taking last uh, eight and a half years. I have trained a lot of people and even I'm thinking that to give up, but uh, people are asking me to take uh, trainings. That's why they are, they are asking me. That's why I'm continuing it. That's why I'm mm -hmm. taking no, from no, seven to it, nine. It, okay. You should uh, always continue, Chandra, whatever, because uh, or else it will be a very big loss to us. In the, or else people are uh, misleading in the marketing by putting uh, fake promises. You are the only one person who is giving proper hope and genuine things to us. Yeah, yeah. See, even if you went to get into that trouble, right? No issues. As I told, have 100% confident. Find the way. Okay. Yeah. This happened to me. Find the way. Come out of that uh, trap. And uh, definitely you can get, okay. go into this project, okay? So why? Because I have seen a lot of people, they are into IT now uh, with genuine experience and all. Yes, why not you? Okay, that's what I can give. Okay. See, in US, I have trained a lot of people in USA, in Canada, and they are into IT. Uh, they are getting into some consultant. They are giving all the documents and everything. They are, they are into IT, no issues. In US, they will not, they will not check in that much level of in india okay so they will check okay. some some candidates here that they are handling it the us consultant they are handling it and i i used to take training for them they are into projects now okay some career gaps also no issues but in india they will check uh, thoroughly all your previous experiences but you have to go through that one okay
ओके ओके सो नाउ इफ आई लर्न आईएसएस द गैप व्हिच नॉलेज ऑन द इंफॉर्मेटिका इवन दैट इज आल्सो फिल्ड विद दिस आईएसएस राइट फॉर द इंटरव्यू लेवल एवरीथिंग सी इफ यू नो इंफॉर्मेटिका पावर सेंटर लर्निंग आईएसएस इज वेरी वेरी इजी as i told yeah, it's yeah. very simple all this transformations are available here so only thing is yeah, we need yeah. to create some connections how we will work all this we have to get that information we have to go for okay, okay. that connectivity okay. little bit it will be changed so those things you have to get yeah. some some hands on okay so how can i create this uh, data integration okay i have to go go here i have to check how to create the mappings see all this are like a uh, web based only here right So all these are web based only if i'm going to this one this tool so here if i see i'm doing this expression transformation see expression you know already right how it will perform if i'm going to the expression you can see yeah it's row level of here i did some some logic here that's it right so i did some logic here about yeah. logic that's one so same way you have to learn all this it is similar to informatica power center only but the thing is hmm. you'll be having different different uh, see this is this is the one i used to take hierarchical schema for xml files json files these are all my uh, fixed with file format excel sheet uh, these are all gcp mm -hmm. connectivity see these things we are connecting okay target we are connecting to gcp and uh, how to make the establish the connections uh, google cloud platform okay bigquery how to create a connection those things i used to take okay aws connections gcp connections snowflake connections all this so those things you have to learn okay got it okay that's it okay, see okay. if you are learning all this okay. yes definitely you can go for so aws yes aws oracle to s3 how to read the data from oracle database and load it into s3 bucket in aws so that i used to take you can see here so those things snowflake i have taken all this okay so okay. those things you have to learn that's it okay yeah uh, hello chandra hello hello, yeah, hello. Yeah, please go ahead. please go ahead Hello, Chandra. Um, uh, I hope I chose your power center and as well as ICS portals. It's very helpful for me. So then earlier I used to go through the SQL video. I got to, uh, I got to place in a good dimension in India, Tamil Nadu. I'm from Tamil Nadu. It's okay. very thankful for that, Chandra. Uh, yeah, then, thank uh, you. Another thing is my small my small concern is uh, huh? how how we will get the support from you if, for example. we purchase a self paced course but we are learning ourselves right without any uh, without attending any live classes correct yeah yeah correct uh, how we can if for example if you have the doubt how we can interact with you yeah Sandra, see, yes, that see, is very helpful because, yeah uh, yeah correct correct see if you hmm. have any doubt take the screenshot yes, and send it to me to my whatsapp okay i am getting okay. so many so many calls uh, i am getting so many calls yeah, so many um, pings i am getting at least uh, yes, yes. Uh, 500 to 1000 pings i am getting per day Uh, okay, after okay. my work hours i'm going to check and i'm going to reply yeah definitely okay. i will respond all your questions no worries uh, my humble screenshot. request is chandra uh, chandra yeah, yeah. better you may have the data right whoever purchased the self courses right mm -hmm. you can create one mm -hmm. a group and you can uh, create a group for only the self purchased course people and you can answer mm -hmm. it but that's a better way right if, if my request is correct or not i don't know but that is a request but instead of Uh, replying one by one, you can have mm. answer on a group. Okay. Okay. Think. Yeah, yeah. See, uh, I have already. Yes, yes. Yeah, I have given. See this uh, yes. this particular informatica training also. Okay. Uh, they are sorry. I'm getting lot of background noise. I will mute. See this informatica itself. They are charging fifteen thousand. Okay. They are charging fifteen to twenty five thousand. They are charging one more. One student came uh, last week. Uh, from some other uh, institute they were charged 30k with false statement uh, she is she was uh, she is like a housewife and a homemaker and they give mm -hmm. some false statement uh, after some like for uh, some four to five years or 10 years uh, you can get into it they all this they have uh, taken that statement they have get got uh, 30k for their uh, training and they haven't provided any document and notes as, as well and uh, videos as well they just uh, get into this training and that's it they have explained with that she cannot able to do anything but after that she came to me and i have given see i am charging only for 3000 right see with this 3000 awesome. i cannot give all the full fledged training like how they are joining for 12k right see the person who is joining live training 
yeah they should have the feeling that okay i am getting complete training right see i have to okay. spend much time for this live training students so that's why i'm train spending much time for this live training students and answering and i'm giving day to day exercises and everything but this training you can get it you can get by yourself that's what self faced one it's like a udemy and the thing is if you get stuck somewhere you send me the screenshot whenever i'm getting time i will check and then i'll answer okay okay sure but i cannot because, give uh, the, 100 percentage training how i'm giving for live training students okay so i want to make that differences for my live training so i have to sometimes i i will take uh, saturday sundays i'm keeping some trouble shooting sessions i will take their mission remotely i'm answering them okay, okay so that i'm keeping it for ias yes and okay. informatica power center students so those who are facing issues i'm taking um, sessions uh, remotely and i'm i'm checking what is the issue they are facing okay okay for yeah. ias ias also are charging 12k isn't it yeah yeah training yes. yeah 12k okay hi chandra no, mm-hmm. okay thank you chandra thank you yeah 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 chandra hello sorry sorry please go get here yeah. yeah uh, so actually thanks for your uh, videos and uh, and uh, whatever the, your providing documents and everything uh, thanks for that uh, chandra huh? so actually i am following your videos from the past 6 months so huh? i am very much happy and uh, thanks for that so actually i am having uh, one doubt so i am huh? having some little doubts so and uh, whatever the you are posting in uh, youtube channel no? so it it will be having in uh, scheduler tools like control m or anything huh? related to Yeah, yeah, it is there already. That is a join button. You have to join. So uh, after joining, uh, we we will be charging for some amount, and after joining that, we can able to see that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I videos. suggest go for the self-paced recordings. Okay, so that okay. you will get it. And uh, what about uh, migration code from uh, Dev to so all these parts also we will we will. Yeah, yeah, I have explained. Yes, explained, explained. But those environments we cannot bring it here. Okay, okay. so. that uh, migration concept i have explained okay how we will youtube migrate channel. youtube channel also i have posted okay for the join button you have to join it but i suggest you to go for the self paced recording you will get with all the notes and everything right okay. in self paced record we will be having all those uh, detail which you have explained in the live session yes 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 and okay. uh, i have one question uh, chandra don't mind mm-hmm. so okay. actually so for now uh, and uh, one my friend is there in uh, some other company so he was done uh, some uh, and moonlight so he has done in uh, last year he uh-huh. was done for uh, two company he have worked for two companies uh-huh. so now so some uh, one company so like uh, ltm entry so he got selected for that so they have released one uh, tool like uh, digi verifier so in hmm. digi fairware they are uh, telling that uh, he has already working for uh, two companies that's why his uh, status is negative mode yeah so correct that's see, he, he got, see that's uh, what i told in- that's what i told if you are going to put your pan card number and other number nowadays they are asking both right if you are going to put your pan card number all the details are captured now so how the company will pay you the money against this pan card number right they will make an entry in this they are going to submit to the tax and everything they will make entry in this against your pan card number they will give information to the government right yes. income tax department and everything if they are going to put the pan card number and your details uan number and everything they will get to know all your previous previous uh, experiences and everything so that's why you have to be very careful and uh, don't get into this moonlight and everything So he has so if, already done it, but before he knows that, so he got he done uh, two companies he have worked. So now what he can do? Yeah, that's what. See, the companies they will have some policies. They will if they are not going to take, they will not take it. You have to go okay. for another company only. You have to check company. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, everything is will be captured. Out. Yeah. So yeah. Hi, Chandra. One so that's one. why that's why i'm telling go for genuine experience always okay don't put any after some time also you will be in a trouble right yeah he has genuine experience mm. but the thing is that yeah, only yeah yeah correct 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 yeah, see that's why you should not give your pan card number more than one company 
the thing is he should have given any other uh, name of okay so something like a wife name he has taken or some other name okay but we should not do it actually moonlighting we should not do it two companies we should not work but some companies they are accepting okay if you take uh, some companies right i think tech mahendra they they are accepting moonlighting so that way they you have to approach some company okay. they are up, up, accepting right in this situation there is no option right so he should not join in that company i like to mind it no they will not take it in future also in future also okay okay sir uh, yeah 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 chandra only yeah yeah please go ahead yeah uh, actually for last two years i'm working as a physical developer uh, and uh, now i'm going to learn uh, power sensor so mm -hmm. whatever you teach in the live session you will provide the entire uh, record yeah, yeah correct 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 but the thing is okay. what is the okay. difference between difference between your uh, uh, live training and everything that's what live training i will give all the guidance like this it will be interactive session okay so every day you are going to sit up and then you will do so even i have taken lot of uh, courses in udemy only few courses i have completed most of the courses i have completed only 5 percentage 10 20 right but i have taken live training for aws yes i have taken aws live training i have taken certification also for aws and gcp i have taken live training see this live training i have completed fully completed fully i used to sit okay. one hour per day i used to take them in the weekend or some some yeah i i went to some other trainer and i got into these knowledges see the same way if you are going to the training yes the only thing is the advantage is you will sit daily daily basis and you will learn that's one thing okay you are paying some amount okay. yes you will get it and also i used to provide recording for that okay so why because i'm getting money from you uh, definitely i have to be yeah. 100% genuine to you uh, the thing is i have yeah. to look at after getting money i have to look at your your growth not my growth okay my growth alone right okay yeah, i have to grow uh, you oh. the success of my students is coming from the, the students only if they are getting placed okay, okay. yes that's what my success okay, okay. so i am uh, taking this training okay. last when, eight years not like will, uh, I, uh, no issues when 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 you will start uh, power center live class yeah live classes i am going to start by this uh, april mid only april 20th april so i have okay. so i have completed uh, i have completed 16 session up to now 16 session up to now yesterday okay, okay. so okay. remaining session i will complete up to here and then i will start here but i request you to go for till the time don't waste your time go to my sql videos you start learning sql okay. you take day one you take day one okay okay day one sql no, no so, i'm i'm will very right? strong in uh, uh, sql then no issues yeah uh, yes yeah. there's no yeah. issues then, uh, till the time then... yeah till the time you start installing informatica power center and iecs also i have posted start learning by yourself yeah. while starting live training yes you will get to know uh, in detail right in clearly you will get it yes yes definitely sir definitely yeah. then which time you will start power center sir i mean i mean the weekdays and weekend i because i'm currently weekdays. working weekdays uh, weekdays uh, weekdays am weekdays. 8 8:15 am yeah. ist 8:15 to 8:15 to 9:30 1 and 1 1 hour 15 minutes oh, yeah because my Our, office hours is 9 9:56 <laughs> 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 yeah that's why i'm asking okay. yeah 8:15 <laughs> to 9:15 <laughs> i will take 9:15 okay. so remaining 15 minutes if anybody has any questions i will ask okay so okay. that's what you will go for this is for informatica power center <laughs> yes yes i'm taking 7 am in the morning 7 am ist okay, to okay. 8 am ist on monday to friday okay if it is weekend okay, if it is ah. weekend i'm taking two and a half hours per week uh, per okay. week five hours okay five hours oh five hours yeah. this is for weekdays for week five hours i mean uh, monday sorry saturday two and a half hours sunday two and a half hours yes correct see whatever i'm okay. i'm completing here on weekdays so that will be covered on weekend same okay so okay fine okay so this is uh, weekday means uh, monday to friday okay right yeah monday to friday 
so okay, weekend in weekend, saturday weekend, sunday start. sorry in weekend which time we will start sir? weekend i am starting from 7 the same time 7 pm ist 7 pm to 9:30 oh evening evening okay that is that is same time same okay. time this time next week this time okay, i will start time. okay 7 to 9:30 uh, in between we'll have 15 or uh, 10 minutes break break okay sir fine yeah i have to give break right so so whatever i'm okay so some 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 uh, some students they couldn't able to join weekdays that's why i'm taking weekend only weekend okay. whatever we are getting weekdays that we can do it on weekend uh, so the saturday okay. sunday and so if some cases if you are not able to join any weekend yeah you will get the recordings on the same same day Uh, so you can okay. catch up on the recordings okay 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 hi chandra um, yeah i am currently uh, in pls ql weekend session mm-hmm. yeah okay uh, can, can i directly go for iacs i mean just without this informatica yeah that's why i am saying see start learning informatica power center by watching my videos okay so okay. start learning from my videos you can start learning basic idea about informatica all this once you have get the basic you can join my iacs directly no issues why because iacs also i am going to start from scratch only you can see here so one by one i am going to take from all the mappings uh, source transformation all this one by one i am going to take right so that you can learn it by yourself so from yeah, the basic only i am going to take the, yeah. Hmm. yeah i have already gone through your youtube videos so hmm. yeah that's why yeah just... yeah yeah that's enough that's enough so i directly join this weekend yeah iacs you can join yeah yeah okay. completely your see the one one request from my students is you have to put your effort you have to do some hands on uh, whatever the uh, the enthusiasm you are having very first day i am expecting throughout the training you need to join you have to ex- interact you have to get the stuff from me and uh, that's the way okay interactive you need to get and uh, yeah some sometimes you are not able to join all that's okay but whatever the amount you are spending uh, so that amount you have to get it from me like a knowledge that knowledge will help you so throughout your career definitely will help you you can have 100% confident okay so whatever the amount i'm getting for that amount i'll be giving 100% training to you you need to have 100% positive mind okay if i'm going to this training yes i can get it any cost i will get into this project so definitely even one of my student she has learned from me like five years before covid she has learned and she she adv- uh, she did advertisement yesterday to join my course i haven't tell her but she she has put that message in her whatsapp status saying that okay you can go and attend this career guidance session okay so that's what that's what the confident you will get it see some people yes some people always if you take 10 students 98 percentage students they will be very good some two students yes always they will complain right why because they won't join properly to the session they will complain about the training sessions and all say i don't bother about these two students i am bothering about i will concern about these 98 students okay these two percentage student always will be there even if you are going to take any sessions two students they will good put for uh, if you are going to put videos right immediately they will put uh, something like a uh, negative comments negative uh, dislike all this they will do but i don't bother about this two percentage i will concern about this 98 percentage of the students okay even lot of people they are not from uh, it companies it uh, they they wouldn't able to sorry they couldn't able to spend much money they have learned from my youtube channel they are into good companies now okay so some companies in chennai they have suggested my videos for their uh, students for their uh, uh, trainees start learning in this playlist so that's what uh, the confident i got it okay thank you sir yeah. uh, chandra so technically if i can ask so when i log when we log into informatica uh-huh. like iacs web uh, web uh-huh. login 
so uh-huh. it is showing like ipi idq like uh, not only like cdi and uh, api and also uh, if i can say big data management or yeah, yeah, MDM correct, correct. or idq so yeah. like uh, when we like suppose uh, if i attend uh, the classes or not do i get uh-huh. the call or do i am i going to work in all these five what i said like uh, cdi yeah that's API, what MDM, see you have the separate what yeah correct that's what you have the aws right AWS. data governance yeah aws you have so how the aws is works for the company they do have lot of services right 100 plus services they have you assume that 50 plus services they have lot of services they have see the companies will not use all the services they will use some services for an example s3 they will use right s3 they will use they will use redshift they will use glue they will use some uh, some rds relational data stores it depends on their company they will use it same like aws iacs they have come up with okay so why not ourselves also we can go into the services like all this we can bring it into one particular tool we can bring this tool okay whichever the company they want to go for okay, they want to do mdm yes they can use the services they can pay for that they can use it if the company they want to go for cloud integration yes they will use all these services they want to go for data quality they will use it based on the requirement based on the requirement if they are going to take you for the data profiling role they will ask okay iacs data profiling services you do you know or not if they are going to take data cloud integration they will ask data cloud integration all this concept they are going to take you for application migration they will ask all this okay it depends on the project how they are uh, most but if you ask what is the most widely used services the most widely used services are integration cloud data integration the services only we are using mostly so previously companies they need to go for different different tools nowadays no need to go for different tools they are bringing all the tools into single tool so they will get the license based on the services they are opting they need to pay for that uh, yeah chandra thank you yeah and, and chandra I, so uh-huh. we can see like many attempts like okay like uh, go for cloud engineer or cloud architect so cloud engineer cloud architect means they are into some like administrator side or development side so this yeah, is what so, so, see I architect yeah yeah architect and developer are both uh, both the levels we have okay if you have say for an example in a company if you have 100 developers you will have one or two admin people right and all the technologies all the servers see server maintenance only two or three people they will maintain it but developers will be more okay so think about which side you want to have so here we will have less people and less requirement here we will have many people many requirement okay so which one you want to go for architect yes both the side we have architect both the side we have data engineer okay solution architect we have principal architect it depends so architect and the solution architect and the principal architect consultant all are like it's based on the experiences okay then what is what is this difference of like data engineer and data analyst data data engineer data analyst or we call we call see that's a, that's what see DPL, each and DPL every DPL company engineer. they will give you they will give you different different roles okay data analyst means you are going to work on the data and you are going to analyze it etl related then transformation logic and everything that is data analyst data architect means they will manage it entire project okay the architecture they will manage it right it's based on the experiences 20 plus experiences we have consultant so, principal mean, architect uh, so I senior to, technology officer so that way they will go for 25 plus years of experience i mean it's, to ask to chandra it is huh? what is data engineer so that's what it's a role that's it data engineer okay. means that's what we are handling data related engineering work right etl see some companies will say like it's etl developer some companies they will give role as data engineer role data scientist role data scientist role they will go for more on a and ml related con- concept but everything they are working on the data related projects only see we do have in our project we do have a and ml projects okay so data engineers data scientists they are working on so our role is so application developer see it depends senior application developer senior architect senior consultant right 
uh, data analyst, different roles will be there. That's not an issue. So everything you are going to work on data related project, each and every company will give different, different roles, different, different designation. That's it. Okay. So all are like data related projects, data related projects only. Data transformation, data loading, data governance, right? Data managing all this. Got it, Chandra. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, finally, I have one question. Mm -hmm. So once we learn the power center, uh, we can apply for the each uh, intermediate developer. Is the both the yes. same or different? Developer, developer role only you can apply. Why? Because developer role only you will be getting a lot of calls. Okay, sir. So if, if I learn uh, informatica power center, I can, I can apply for uh, informatica developer role. Yes, you can apply. Yes. Developer role okay, only sir. I'm teaching, not admin role. Okay, so de developer role only I'm teaching. Okay, okay. Uh, Chandra, I have one mm -hmm. question like, regarding mm -hmm. career guidance. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you, I'm looking like, uh, for to work in opera, like, from now on, we should do. Uh, sorry, sorry, your voice uh, is your breaking. Opera, like, what? Your voice is breaking. Hello? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is it audible now? Yeah. Uh, like you are in already abroad, Chandra. Like, uh, and, and what is the initial preparation we do from now only, like uh, to get opportunity in abroad? Yeah, see, this is a different thing. Okay, so if you want to go by yourself to abroad, see, one need two opportunities uh, one is Canada and Australia. You have these options, you can by yourself, you can check. Uh, okay, so Saudi Arabia or Arabian countries okay. are Singapore. So, my students are there in Singapore also. Uh, okay, these countries you can. Okay. Uh, search uh, by yourself yourself you can apply for pr okay. here you can okay. complete your ielts exam you can try parallelly if you are in very junior uh, level if you have any aspiration to come into uh, canada and australia uh, i cannot apply for this role okay. i am I'm some something like uh, senior level so okay but you are in junior level like uh, two years three years experiences and all start if you want to settle in abroad okay. here canada or australia this is like hmm. You can mm. start by yourself learning IA, mm. sorry, IELTS exam. Okay. So okay. IELTS exam, okay. you know, right? This IELTS yeah, exam only yeah. is the one. Okay. Uh. So that is the only okay. first thing you have to do. So get okay. this IELTS exam. It's a two years validity. Okay. 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 Then okay. by yourself, you can go to some Canada website. You can buy okay. yourself. You can post it. Okay. 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 No need to depend on any agent. So agent, okay. they will get one, one lakh simply to apply in portal. Uh. They will get one lakh. Okay. Okay. So okay. why? Because we do have a lot of WhatsApp group here. I used to check that. They will uh -huh, be suggesting uh -huh. that. Okay. Instead of that, you can by yourself, you can learn IEC, IELTS exam, uh -huh. then learn, uh, have your uh, BES. BES means World Education Services. Okay. Your, your education services should be like authenticated. Uh -huh. So that you need okay. to do it. BES and IELTS okay. only two things. Uh -huh. If you are completing okay. that, Directly, you can go to the CA site, Canada site, uh, government uh, site. You can uh, apply by yourself. Okay. No need to depend on anyone. Okay. Two okay. things. I'm one is West. Okay. One is uh, IELTS uh, exam. This one you do. Okay. Both Australia and uh, Canada by yourself, you can try. If you are trying okay. for any Gulf countries or Singapore, you can have uh, uh, Naukuri Gulf, Naukuri uh -huh, Singapore, uh, or sorry, uh, not Naukuri Singapore. We have uh, Naukuri Gulf. So that you uh, have to do. Only thing is the Gulf countries, if you want to go, you need to have mm. minimum less uh, notice field. So that notice period only they will take. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How much notice period, uh, Chandra, for that one? They need only 15 days. Singapore okay. and um, yeah, Austria, Singapore and Gulf mm. countries, they will expect only 15 days. Okay. Even Norway, Denmark and all also they are taking. But be careful. Okay. Don't depend on any agent. Okay. You have to get okay. some... some uh, you need to get some experience like, sorry, your, uh, so how to say that offer letter, you need to get it from the company directly. Okay. Not from okay. any uh, agents. Agent might be there. Uh, they are giving some false statement. Okay. Uh, they okay. have given in India. It happened, right? Thailand. They have okay. taken people from Tamil Nadu and Andhra. Then okay. they have asked to work in different, different projects. So that will happen. Be careful. Okay. Okay, like IELTS and another West WEST. Ah, West, West World okay. Education Service, 
whatever uh-huh. you have completed your be btech or be uh-huh. or mtech uh-huh. me so that uh-huh. canada government they need to certify uh-huh. that okay it's equivalent to our gov- our uh, standard okay okay got it okay see this education okay. if you are completing this canada government uh-huh. okay this education uh-huh. they want to check it whether you have completed our standard education or not so that okay. they will sir, certify you okay it okay. will take 2 uh, to 3 months to complete that yourself you can do it you have to go to the site and then you have to submit your transcript from your college from your uh-huh. college you'll, our university will send so that uh-huh. information to this west and then they uh-huh. will certify you they will send you on mail that and uh, they uh-huh. will send on one postal also they will send you okay it has okay. been completed so with this wes and ielts exam you can apply yeah. by yourself this is for all of you i'm telling if you have some career aspiration to go okay. to canada or australia these two countries yeah. they will take okay like uh, chandra like uh, for like we are going with fake uh, experience things like uh, for this kind of fake experience thing which country is suitable like uh, not that much strict like uh, indian tcs companies are like that see if you are here also tcs are uh-huh. there if you uh-huh. want to go for tcs here yes they will do all uh-huh. the all the all the validations okay but here lot of okay. other opportunities are there in okay. canada and australia lot of lot of other companies are there yeah uh-huh. different things yeah that is different uh-huh. career path yeah, those yeah. things not Thank an issue you. for uh, coming okay. here your uh-huh. uh, experiences our experiences all this those is those things not an issue your uh, uh-huh. uh, college experience that college uh, certification should be valid one okay uh, okay can you please suggest the ielts exam which coach, which coaching is good i mean if you no 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 you can idea. you can learn by yourself lot of youtube videos are there uh-huh. uh you have to uh, you have to learn by yourself you have to spend some times uh-huh. lot of videos are there lot of whatsapp groups are there uh-huh. you get, uh-huh. go into that uh, whatsapp uh-huh. group and join there they will suggest uh-huh. you. don't go for any agent uh-huh. they will get some okay. one lakh completely okay. okay see uh-huh. always we are uh-huh. very grace to our abra right the agents will use that yeah that grace yeah yeah why but they are asking the... just to create for resume only 40000 the chandra yeah one that's waste you is, can is, do it by uh-huh. yourself you can do yourself okay thanks a lot chandra like next to god you are helping us uh, uh, to us uh, thanks a lot uh, i pray to god that you should be blessed with happy health and success yeah thank you very much thank you and uh, chandra like this i iacs uh, for certification purpose like chandra like uh, should i learn apa also or cdi is enough no 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 or api also they have yeah you have to learn api you have to learn certification oh. but certification okay. not a not an not an issue i haven't done any oh. iacs certificate okay, okay. so just oh. i did informatica power center certificate and uh, oh. java certification during my my uh, training period okay, okay. but after okay. that i didn't do any certification that is not an issue your knowledge is important okay this uh, certifications will help us to get the job in abroad chandra mm. it's a one extra point that's it okay getting okay. a job in abroad that is different okay that's what that okay. career if you have career aspiration to get in job in abroad that's a different mm. okay? okay where you are which technology you are which uh, domain which knowledge you have english knowledge okay. see okay. which college you have studied so all this are important which country okay. you are trying for you are trying for okay. canada that's different okay. if you are trying for singapore that is different if you are trying okay. for gulf countries that is different okay yeah okay like which is easy chandra like uh, i mean see, for, everything uh, it is not an issue easy you uh, have to put uh, some effort Ah, if it okay. is easy then everybody will go into that com- uh, country right See, uh-huh. it is very easy no, not like like hmm. america like uh, usa is very tough uh, to yeah, yeah. reach there like uh, yeah. but canada yeah they are also enforcing to indian employees uh, skilled employees to come there yeah. so, see like, one uh, thing is very easy to get into here as a student okay if you have okay. uh, if you have uh, tried with uh, your btech or be if you want to come here uh-huh. yes you can get some uh-huh. universities here by completing your ielts uh-huh. and get some uh-huh. universities here you can come here uh-huh. after that you can get some uh, some 2 to 3 years work permit and then you can uh-huh. work okay. here after okay. that you can go into some yeah that's what so your age should uh-huh. be like at least uh, 23 to 25 at least below 25 you will get more more opportunities i am 33 now okay so that's what each year uh, we will have some five points it will get uh-huh. reduced 
Okay. 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 Each year, five points will get reduced. Okay. Okay. Chen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, Supraja. Yeah. Yeah. Please go. Uh, like. Yeah, I, I actually wanted to work in IICS cloud. Um, mm -hmm. uh, like I have experience in power, power center informatica. Okay. But because of my project right now, I'm working on Java. So you are saying that uh, for IICS cloud, uh, do we need any Java experience too? No, no, no. If you, if you see, if you have already Java experiences, API, you have already experiences, that is an added advantage here. Okay. So have you worked on any API calls in, yeah, ja in Java? Uh, I just started. Yeah, Since so, I am in Informatica background, I wanted to move to Informatica job itself. Uh, I was thinking, will this help or not? Uh, yeah, in yeah, it my will career help. To okay, apply see, for Informatica, IACS in cloud. Informatica also, we have Java transformation. In IACS also, we have Java transformation. Okay. If you go to this new mappings, Java transformations are there. See, in our project also, we are using Java transformation for one of our encryption decryption logic. But I haven't worked on Java. So that time, those who are having Java knowledge, I will give them the task. Okay, you can get into this Java. You can develop some Java code for this encryption decryption on this. They can easily work on if you have knowledge on Java. Okay, so that is an added advantage. That is not an issue. But your aspiration, yeah, some of the service-based company, right? Even it happened for me also. Okay, I'm into this Informatica. They, they, they put me into different domains. They, it will happen, okay? Uh, sometimes we will be in the position to forcefully, we will get into that uh, particular project. Yeah, it happens because they won't allow you to come out of the project. They will not release you from the project, right? They will get all the buildings and everything. You are into same project for many years. You will know all the process and everything. They will not allow you to go outside. So they will put you in some projects or even new projects also they will put you. But if you want to come out, learn these things, you search for opportunities outside, then apply for it, get the opportunity, you come out. That's what I can say. But within yeah, the so company, definitely you cannot come out uh, uh, by fighting and all, we cannot come out. We have to follow some other uh, stack tactics. We come out within the company. I'm saying. Okay, so I have another question. Like, uh, even if I learn IACS, uh, they wanted experienced people, right? Because I have given no, 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 uh, no. See, views. you have, yeah, you have already worked on Informatica Power Center. You know how the Power Center projects will work, right? That yes, experiences sir. the same thing is IACS working on. Same thing, source we will take, target we will take, we will put some transformation logic here and we will work. But the thing yes. is, the target, we will have some cloud technologies, that's it. So they will ask this kind of, okay, what is your target? Which target you are loading? Have you worked on migration project? All this they will ask. So that you have to manage it. After getting into the project, you can learn. Yeah, because uh, only reason I was not selected is I, I haven't worked on IICS cloud. That was the reason i got when i asked so yeah, I, yeah got... I understood yeah so you so have how... to get complete experiences here hands-on you have to get you have to tell them last one year i was working in iecs only uh, so that is what i have i have got i i have hands-on yes i can able to manage since you are already working on informatica power center no worries you can able to handle your iecs project because we want people for iecs we are taking from Informatica Power Center candidates only for our projects also. See, if I if I want to take 10 people, out of 10 people, only three people we used to get from IACS background. Remaining seven people we used to get Informatica background only. But after some time, we will train them. Okay, don't worry okay. on that. Yeah, you have 100% okay. confident you can get into IACS. See, it is not only one interview. Okay, one interview will not stop your career. Okay, think that positively you think go for another interview. Some interviews, okay. yes, even if I'm going for interviews nowadays, I have all this knowledge. Some interview, their expectation is different. My experience is different. They will reject me also. So it depends, various factor. They will reject. Okay. The one person, okay. 10 years experience, uh, and I'm 14 years experience, he has rejected me. 
so why because some problem right he he may think that okay if he comes the project okay some problem to me also in that way he has he thought he didn't take it doesn't mean that i do not have knowledge so i i expectation is different that's why i can say so you can go to another interview you can get into and uh, definitely and, you'll get again, to keep on attend okay and uh, one more question like uh, so you right now till uh, before i had informatica power center experience now i'm working in java again will it be a problem to move to no 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 later? no whatever you are working on java so that experiences you tell them like i'm working in iacs only okay that's okay no issues you have to have the hands on right you have to have hands on that's it if you have the hands on on iacs if you are telling iacs with java i know very well java i can manage the java codes in iacs also that's what we are using encryption decryption java codes encoding decoding all this we are using is yes, you can manage them you can answer java related questions also that's your added advantage see this is one thing i want to tell you don't give up don't give up so keep on try even my students first interview itself many people will clear some people will go for 10 interviews some people will go for even 50 interviews also you need to have the courage to attend the interviews that's it 50th interview will get to know see this is very rare scenario i'm saying whatever it may be it doesn't mean that now after getting into 50 interviews if you are going for any client client interview or anything up sometime you are the best people best candidate to attend any interviews you will get to know i have attended lot of interviews to so myself to test whether i am into the current current technologies or not i used to attend lot of interviews the same way you can also follow no issues attending interviews yeah. it doesn't mean that okay you do not have any knowledge see some people some expectation is different different scenarios right they won't take you that's okay no issues but keep on try you will get through but we have to say that i have experience in iacs right correct, you know, correct, in correct, order correct, to correct. have that right yes you have to say you have experience on iacs at least 6 months see our current project we were using informatica power center previously now we have migrated to iacs i was working in this particular project but i want to explore more on this so that's why i want to search for other opportunities they will ask okay you are in iacs why you want to search for other companies see to get into different technologies different environments enhance always to enhance my knowledge right so that's what you have to pass to speak then they will okay they will check your attitude also okay learning towards and learning how you are taking positive mind uh, workaholic and everything they will test and then they will take you don't worry so some questions i couldn't able to answer because of many of them asked okay still if you have any questions uh, if you need in future also please uh, contact to this number 7010080468 on this number on whatsapp so i will answer all your questions okay whenever i'm getting time i will answer thank you all thank you for your time